Welcome to the agent program initiate. I'll be waiting for you inside. Follow the lights, please. Majestic, isn't it? I'm Diana. I'll take you to your quarters. Someone likes to keep secrets. Secrets are our stock and trade. Besides, from what I hear, you have a few of your own. I'm not like you, in case you're wondering. I'm in the Handler program. Agents and handlers work in unity. You know the expression, know your enemy? Well, that part is my job. Knowing your enemy is only half the victory. I know. You also need to know yourself. I'm working on it. I read your case file. Impressive work. Partly textbook, but I suppose field work never is. Tell me, what did it feel like, taking lives? Random. Disordered. Is that why you came here? Why you let us test you? Maybe I'm not the only one being tested. Well, we are here. Basic training starts at 0600 hours. I should leave you to prepare. Are you sure about this? I am. There are no second chances, Miss Burnwood. Not here. I choose him. May I inquire why? A blank slate? Antisocial? Apathetic and unresponsive? No doubt the boy shows promise, but... Perhaps I see possibility where others see limitation. Isn't that what a handler does, sir? We'll see. Anyone can kill Miss Burnwood. He still remembers nothing? If he does, he's not sharing. We will check up on his story. The hospital in Romania. In the meantime, keep him under close watch. Welcome to Advanced Mission Training. This operation originally took place in Sydney. The target was Calvin Ritter, infamous cat burglar, also known as the Sparrow. You will need to infiltrate the yacht, isolate and eliminate your target and exfiltrate, all without arousing suspicion. And remember, as an ICA agent, you are the most dangerous person in any room. But blunt force will get you nowhere in this business. And a true assassin never calls attention to himself. Good luck, Initiate. As previous tests have established, you exhibit an unusual level of enhanced sensory perception. Use your instinct now to sense the position and movement of people around you, and identify your target. Hmm, that mechanic is in your way. Sneak up and subdue him quietly.
Hey, wait a minute. Hmm. Hey, what the hell? Who threw that? to intel, Ritter is another enforcer who picks his own cabin crew. So tread carefully. towards the next.
back door. Good choice, Initiate. Improvisation is the key to success. Advanced mission training complete. And may I say, elegantly done, Initiate. I guess my hunch was right about you. I look forward to the final test. How did you know? I told you he had talent. His stats are off the charts. Such skills and reflexes. They could only be the result of previous training. Power like that, with no moral restraint. He could be dangerous. I thought that was rather the point, sir. All agents have weak spots, Miss Burnwood. Pressure points to keep them in check. But this one... Perhaps it would be better to just... Give me a chance, sir. Give him a chance. I will take full responsibility. Very well. It's your show. Welcome back, Initiate. As an ICA agent, every challenge you face can be overcome in multiple ways. Complete this exercise again, this time attacking it from a different angle. Vary your strategy. Improvise. We will be watching. Once again, great work, Initiate. This exercise is available for as long as you need. When you are ready to advance, you have only to let us know. I just got word. Romania was a dead end. You're saying that he lied? Place is real enough. Deserted. But we found no trace that your man was ever there. 
Or anyone else, for that matter. Someone erased his steps. Hmm. We'll keep digging, of course. But frankly, it's as if the Earth just spat him out. Are you still determined? Does it matter? I was told there'd be no second chances. Don't believe everything you hear, Miss Burnwood. My decision stands. Very well. I'll be watching. The final test is based on an authentic 1979 mission. The high point of training Director Soda's career as an active agent. The target was Jasper Knight, a famous US chess master exposed as a Soviet spy. Soda's caught up with Knight at a military airfield in Cuba and eliminated him against all odds. This will be your objective as well. Now listen carefully. ICA exams aren't normally this difficult. Not only was the airfield a virtual fortress, but he even added additional guards. Sodas wants you to fail. He considers you a threat, and this way, your unfortunate exit from the program won't raise any eyebrows. Well, if he thinks we're bowing out, he is sorely mistaken. Good luck, Kanishi. Yet. out the safety protocol for the jet. Eh, it's on the clipboard. Look, do we really have to do this? We're putting a big tank inside a Mach 3 fighter jet. Yeah, I kind of think we do. What was that? Whoa! Oh. Target down. You did it. Now head towards an exit. Congratulations, Agent. You are cleared for field duty.
I hope you know what you just did. The chopper leaves at dawn. Now get out of my sight. So what happens now? You go back into the world, disappear, stay on your own and on the move. When we need you, we will contact you. And so does. He played his hand, and he lost. He cannot touch us now. <laughs> Still, I can't believe we beat him at his own game. If you know your enemy. <laughs> Quite right. I should tell you, the trail went dead after Romania. Our team found no records of any kind. No name. Nothing. I think they called me 47. That's not a name. So make it one. All right. Agent 47. Step right in, sir. Enjoy your evening. Oh, you gotta hand it to him. Victor knows how to make an entry.
Not yet. I, I go on in a few cycles, I think. I have... I think I'm in, but I want to be clear on a few details. Fine. I'll, I'll be up after the show. Ciao.
Good evening, 47. Your target is Dmitry Fedorov, currently a patient at the prestigious Gamma facility in Hokkaido. Fedorov owns a series of infamously unsafe fireworks factories in Russia. In a stroke of poetic justice, four weeks ago, Fedorov was severely injured in an accident at one of his own factories. He was initially in critical condition, but has since made a miraculous recovery thanks to advanced Kronstadt surgical technology used at the facility. 26 of his employees were not that lucky. Fedorov now plans to retire in the Bahamas on the insurance collected from the accident. But a group of surviving factory workers have decided to ensure Fedorov doesn't leave Hokkaido alive. Let's make this one count, 47. Good evening, 47. The annual snow festival is underway at the Gamma facility. Dmitry Fedorov is scheduled to be discharged from the hospital tomorrow and has been seen wandering the public areas of the facility, enjoying the festivities. Good luck. 80% rubbish, 20% content worth reading. That is Dmitry Fedorov, responsible for the deaths of 26 employees at his faulty fireworks factory. by lunch if you go check out whatever that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey! Dmitry Fedorov eliminated. Nicely done, 47. Time to exfiltrate the facility. Good morning, 47. Your destination is the Italian coastal town of Sapienza, where our client, Laventura Pictures, is shooting a superhero epic based on the cult graphic novel, The Icon. Your target is Dino Bosco, the film's director and leading man. A washed up character actor, Bosco sees The Icon as his big comeback. Unfortunately, his rampant perfectionism and complete disregard for the budget has left Laventura on the verge of bankruptcy. Still, he doggedly refuses to wrap the production. Laventura cannot fire Bosco without violating their contract. That is why they have asked us to retire him before the whole studio goes belly up. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Sapienza 47. Today's shoot is already in progress. For the sake of authenticity, Dino Bosco's icon costume is genuinely bulletproof. He does, however, insist on doing his own stunts. So, I suggest you take advantage of Murphy's Law. Good luck, 47.
Explosives rigged? Yeah, good and ready. Let's go. Hi, it's me. Look, I, I don't know what to do. Bosco is being impossible. Dress to kill, sir. I can get yeah, right. Job. You have to finish me and hide me in a dumpster. Looking good, buddy.
value than this one. Come on! Come on! Get into it! I want to feel the danger! I want to feel the heat! Capiche? Hey, did the new fuel get here yet? Yeah, it arrived this morning. Action! Stuff. I want to test it before I use it here on the old bed. Good, good uh, sir. Uh, Nice day for it, isn't it? <laughs> oh man, hope they get the pressure right this time. Yeah, you know what? I said too Hello, sir. Please just go away. <laughs> Alan laughed. Man, I can't lie. Take a trash for all the people in the stars. I mean, it can't happen. Sorry, sorry, I can't let you through. While the mechanical brakes are activated on those teeth. Hey, yeah, you might want to go up to the head and double check. You know, let's just make sure. <laughs> Will do. Sir, but this area is restricted. Sorry. It's icon. Good evening, 47. Your destination is Sapienza, Italy. Your target is Marco Abbiati, a wealthy businessman returning to his hometown to run for mayor, a snake-tongued right-wing populist with mafia ties and money to burn. Abbiati is already comfortably ahead in the polls. However, beneath his silk suits, Abbiati is a callous thug and organized crime is certain to follow in his wake. Our client, the renowned bioengineer Silvio Caruso, sees Abiati as a threat, not just to his ancestral town, but the entire country, and he has asked us to dispose of this would-be patrician. I will leave you to prepare. Marco Abiati is throwing a political rally at the beach to gain young voters, and getting close to him unnoticed might prove difficult, so pay attention. Men like Abiati always have private scores to settle, away from the public eye. Good luck, 47. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 
That is your target, Marco Abiette. some brain transplants around here. <laughs> Just joking, doctor, of course. Just joking. <laughs> Thank you, sir. We're trying our best with what we've got. Sorry, sir, I can't let you through. Got my orders. I've been looking for you. I want to confess my sins uh, for the people, if you know what I mean. I'll see you in the confession booth. How are you, sir? Thank you, Father, for seeing me, or I have sinned. <laughs> well, you always were a bad <laughs> Father, Father, don't worry. One step at a time. Will you take my confession? Do I have a choice? No. No. So, Father, I have sinned. I have you never changed, do you? Will you forgive me, Father? No. You have no soul to forgive. And you knew of this all along, didn't you? Yes, I did. And I will expose you. No, you won't. 
Seal of confession, Father. I have not committed any crime, at least nothing that the Vatican hasn't done before. So, now that that's out of the way, why don't we go admire the view? I could still use the church's support. Hello, sir. church behind me, we can make this town great. This town is already great. <laughs> yes, yes. But can you imagine if it was better? I mean, these old houses, they, they are worthless. Drop People out want here. internet and cable really? TV and, and houses that don't rot. You really out. believe this, don't you? No, just But the middle class have joined the working class. The rich doesn't want the rustic, they want modern. And that Rabbi is Adi. what we will give them, if the church will help. And we both know. They like a good investment. You are insane. <laughs> come now. Self-righteous idiot. Please, come out. Oh. Ah, oh, you always were a bore. Rabbi Rabbi when everyone out there will be home, they're here. People who vote for you. They'll get paid, Padre. It's called progress. Your church has never understood. Huh? No, 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 no. I will, I'll break my oath of silence, huh? I'll expose you for the fraud you really are. How about that? Oh, really? Really? You're threatening me? Well, let me tell you. You are not going to say a word. And you know why? Because you are nothing. Nothing worth living. Now you listen to me. I better go to confession again. Target down. Now head towards an exit.
top of the... Yeah. I don't have any sight on Brown Walmart. I'm sure he's around here somewhere, but he's a sneaky little bastard. Excellent work, 47. The money has been wired to your account. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco. Your targets, Kong Tuao Quang, head of a Chinese construction conglomerate, and Mathieu Mendola, chief architect at Tuao Quang's biggest rival, Hamilton Lowe. Mandola plans to double-cross his employer and leak non-disclosable company documents to Tuao Quang, including the confidential offer for a multi-billion dollar real estate project. In response, Hamilton Lowe has requested that we eliminate both men and send their competition a clear message. Kong has rented a rooftop patio for the meeting, but the location is as of yet unclear. So track them and eliminate them and reclaim the documents. Good luck, 47. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. Mendola has just arrived. He is unaware of Kong's secret meeting location. But we know that Kong is hosting a lavish party at the Shisha Cafe, and we suspect the meeting will take place nearby. Good luck, 47. How are you, sir? Go ahead, sir. Off you go, sir. As long as you have an invite. Oh, I have. Thanks. Then you can come and go as much as you like. Hey, all right? Uh, thanks. Whoa. Sir, you need clearance to pass through.
target down. Two objectives remaining. Uh, Central, I'm in the lounge now. Over. Nothing here. Over. I will proceed to the next location. Ow. Copy that! Your target is Blair Reddington, controversial big game hunter and heir to one of the oldest and most influential families in the US. Reddington is the leader of an elitist group, the Lodge, which exclusively hunts endangered animals. The Lodge is known to resort to bribery and threats to protect its members from political scrutiny. One more thing, our client informs us that the target always carries around a small black book which contains names and details on Lodge members and government officials associated with them. Our client has unsuccessfully tried to put an end to the Lodge's blood sport for years, 
This book could be exactly what they need to achieve that goal. Retrieve the book and help put an end to their heinous actions. Time to make the hunter the hunted, 47. I'll leave you to prepare. Welcome to Columbia, 47. Your target is currently searching the jungle for the legendary and extinction-threatened white anaconda, known by the Aztecs as the Cloud Serpent. Locate Reddington, eliminate him, and recover his little black book. Good luck. Intel tells us that he's searching for the Cloud Serpent in the jungle just outside the village. Something is playing tricks on me. Reddington's little black book retrieved. You made a difference today. Our clients will be pleased. Sight, I'm a force alarm. I can't believe it. 
Said us we're looking for a shooter here. Come on. Daredevil, isn't he? I mean, I keep seeing him skating around on that slippery cliff looking plants. Not just any plants, apparently. 
some rare kind. That has to do with those experiments. It's not one over like a button. Must be very important to have to risk life like that. I guess so. You do not want to give up. Objectives complete. The money is being transferred now, 47. Now find an exit. This area is clear. We're moving on.
Good afternoon, 47. Your target is notorious magician and hypnotist Basil Carnaby. In the 1960s, Carnaby attracted the rebellious youth of London's upper class to his side with his own brand of pseudo-mysticism. He would then hypnotize them and order them to rob their wealthy families on his behalf. He stole millions entirely by proxy. By the time the police finally caught on, Carnaby had absconded to Nepal with a group of spiritualist pilgrims and subsequently disappeared. However, one of his old victims recently recognized a well-aged Carnaby doing a mentalist act for the locals on the streets of Mumbai. Having obtained a life of comfortable obscurity, it seems he just can't keep his hands out of other people's pockets. Good luck, 47. Welcome to Mumbai, 47. Your target, along with a conspicuous coterie of paid guards, has taken up residence in a nearby apartment complex. It won't be easy to get close, but then again, a natural showman like Carnaby is unlikely to stay cooped up forever. That is Basil Carnaby, and it seems he's made himself quite at home here. Gather round, friends. How would you like to see a little bit of magic in the midst of the mundane? No card tricks, no silk scarves, no bullshit. My talents lie in unlocking the magic within every one of us. Magic in the human mind. May I have a volunteer? Anyone will do. I'll volunteer. You? Uh, of course. Why not? <clears throat> now, um, I want you to close your eyes. Imagine the color red. A soft red, dull and warm. All around you, you see nothing but four red. It's dull and warm. Isn't that so? It's very... red. Right. Very red. You're insulated from everything. This place is only for you. You're safe. You're comfortable. Now I want you to follow me. We're just going to go for a stroll around the corner. I need a door. You most certainly do, my friend. And four, three, two, one. Shall we? Have a good one. Keep it real. Here we are, friend. Now that we have a little privacy, how about you empty your pockets for me? No. I said, empty your pockets. Don't think so. Well, you followed me up here. What are you waiting for? You'll know soon enough. Bloody idiot, you're just wasting my time. Just go. I said get lost. Target eliminated. 
Looks like no one else needs to worry about falling under Basil Carnaby's spell. Take a bow, 47. Set up perimeter, okay? Your target is Ajit A.J. Krish. He's the current head of Atlantide, a company producing demineralized salt water that promises a suspiciously long list of medical benefits. If the brand doesn't ring any bells, it's because Atlantide is only sold out of the homes of independent distributors. They pay Krish an initial signing fee, and in return are able to purchase Atlantide for a lower price, which they can then turn around and sell at a profit. That is, if they can sell it. But bottled water is not Krish's most profitable product. He is far more interested in getting people to buy into his turnkey business opportunity, and better still, convince their friends to do the same. He preys on the desperate. Whether they can afford it or not, Krish will tell them that future fortune is worth even the most painful investments. The target is currently in Miami, in the hopes of recruiting a celebrity driver to be the new face of Atlantide. Our clients would prefer he never recruit anyone again. Best of luck. Welcome to Miami, 47. Your target, Ajit Krish, is currently hosting an Atlantide event in the VIP area of the annual Global Innovation Race. Krish likes to portray himself as a man of the people. So he will most likely be by the company stand, trying to persuade the unfortunate guests Sir, of the opportunity to, to represent Atlantite. Okay? We know that he has brought Just two relax. trucks filled with the product to, to sell instantly to whoever signs the dotted line. In other words, it's going to be tricky to catch him alone. All right. Good, Good job, luck. sir. Thank you. Don't forget, this race is all about getting some miles under the hood. It's as much about the car's stamina and technology as it is about the driver's path. Just to get this straight, you had no idea the device was in fact a bomb. None whatsoever. As I mentioned before, they asked me to deliver a package. I thought it was just pyrotechnics. As I understand it, Moses Lee is into that sort of thing. Interesting story. Shifting crates, and that means a lot of people are signing up. You on the uh, Atlantide program? What? I don't have time for that. Dr. Holtz, just an update on our team quack driver, Edwin Schmitz. By the way, haven't heard from him yet, but I'm sure he will be here soon. No, 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 don't worry. The deal is sealed. I talked to his agent, and he promised. Yeah, I'll get back to you when I've talked to him. And don't worry, it's going great. We are making money. By the tone of that conversation, it sounds like Krish is not alone in running this scam. I'll do some digging, 47, and get back to you. You can just feel the tension in the air. Now this is a good relief family show for us to make no mistake. At the end of the day, it's all about winning. Moses Lee and Sierra Knox is neck and neck out there. Isn't she a beauty? I know I sound like a broken record, but if you recruit enough people to sell Atlantine, Maybe you can afford one too. Let's go.
Suspicious. Yeah, I got it. For newcomers to endurance racing, let me remind you that this is different from Grand Prix in that it's all about which team can go the distance. Fuel efficiency and reliability, that's the name of the game. This is where you see the car technology come to work. Dr. Bowles. Though our client will never get their money back, you have given them peace of mind. Well done. Forty-seven, I'm currently hacking into Krish's phone records, and he seems to have made several calls to Vermont. Neither he or Atlantide are located anywhere near there. I will get back to you as soon as I know more. I think there is more to this than meets the eye. This race is not over until the clock ticks down. Excuse me? Wait, 47. I've been examining Krish's phone records, and there are quite a few long calls here between him and someone named Voles. Ah, I see. It seems your last contract may not have been as settled as we thought. Evidently, Krish was the front man for Atlantide, and the one responsible for its predatory expansion practices. The man behind the product in the pitch, however, is Galen Voles. Voles stays out of the spotlight, but quietly pushes Atlantide's absurd medical claims on every front, from dry skin to pancreatic cancer. Apparently, Voles recently moved out to the suburbs to curb the harassment he's been receiving from disgruntled customers and former sales associates. He's also taking advantage of his anonymity to operate an exclusive private practice out of his home, despite having no medical background whatsoever. Perhaps it's time to make a house call, 47. Welcome to Whittleton Creek, 47. Your target is Galen Voles, who's just moved into the neighborhood in hopes of establishing an inconspicuous home clinic to peddle Atlantide. Unfortunately for him, not to mention you, he's already received some threatening mail to this new address. The man's on edge, and he's reached out to the local authorities to help him secure his property. You'll need to get past them if you want to take care of Voles. Good luck. Daddy's house? Same guy who just did Cassidy's, right? Yeah. So, I let him use the green shipping container to store some chemicals. <laughs> I asked him if it was poisonous, but he assured me that it was only a sleeping agent. Get this. He told me that he doesn't kill the bugs. He only sedates them so that he can set them free later. Let me get this straight. He's an exterminator who cares about the lives of insects. What a weirdo. I think the neighborhood is safe. But then? This guy's got sensors on everything but the darn mailbox. He should definitely have one there. 
People steal mail around here all the time. And it's a damn shame, too. I just can't imagine trusting some alarm system more than you trust a flesh and blood officer of the law. Well, it's louder, isn't it, sir? It's not loud if you trip the breaker first. Anyone can do that. They'd only need to get into the basement, then bingo. The whole place is ripe for infiltration. I guess that's why you're the sheriff, sir. Damn right. Let's see if we can't help this fella feel a little more at ease under our watch. Huh? Is that why we brought out the big guns? Damn right, boy. Wow. Hey, can someone check that out quickly? No worries. Wow. Hmm. Eh. Oh, why is this happening to me today of all days? Whoa. <laughs> what? Target eliminated. Excellent work, 47. Good Time man. to make your exit. Charles Blake III would really appreciate it if you voted for him in the upcoming elections. Would you like a fly? Or perhaps if you have time. Well, that's that. Two fewer snake oil salesmen in the world, or exponentially more, if you include their downlines. Well done as usual, 47. Welcome back, 47. Your targets are two members of Liberation, a doomsday cult planning an attack in Bangkok. Specifically, cult leader Oybek Nabazov and his second-in-command, Sister Yulduz. The client, a reclusive millionaire operating under the codename Loxley, has provided evidence that the cult is planning to unleash a bioweapon somewhere in the city. Masquerading as a self-help group, the cult is at the Himapan Hotel, hosting an art exhibition entitled A Study of Life, Death and Rebirth, Viewed Through the Lens of Atrocity. Chilling when you consider their plan. Additionally, I have learned that a small group of potential cult recruits is present, which may provide an opportunity to infiltrate. I'm worried about this 47. The cult plan is in its final stages. The sooner we disrupt it, the better. I shall leave you to prepare. Welcome to Bangkok. The exhibition should be easy enough to locate, but there are a number of VIPs staying at the hotel, and you should expect them to visit the exhibition along with their security entourages. Good hunting, 47. Demanded more fire extinguishers this morning. What are they doing up there? Up on the top floor. The Liberation Cult has installed itself in the Southwest Penthouse Wing, and the exhibition is open to hotel guests. You should be able to acquire your targets there. Proceed at your discretion.
Huh? There goes my next ex-husband. That is Oybek Nabazov, self-declared teacher and cult leader. His second-in-command won't be far off. Death is all around us, in the artifacts of our cultures, in our languages, and our religions, no matter which faith we aspire to. And many of us fear it, but that is wrong. We should not fear it. And we can learn not to fear for it. Because when we can see death coming, we take away the fear. We can embrace it old friend which shall accompany us on a new journey. Target elimination confirmed. Good work, 47. Yeah, now for Sister Yildiz. Anyone's there, identify yourself.
Sister Yulduz has left the penthouse 47, and in quite a hurry, too. Intriguing. Oh, come on, give me a break. Targets eliminated, 47. Contract complete. I'll have the money wired to your account. Good work, as always.
What? Huh. Weird. Huh. I just saw a spike in traffic from the hotel's network. Looks like a series of automatically dispatched messages. I'll get a team on it right away. Diana here. Listen closely. We've got an emergency on our hands. I'll have to brief you en route. Improvisation is part of the craft. Go on. When we eliminated the targets in Bangkok, it appears we misjudged what the cult was capable of. I misjudged it. This should be interesting. Yes. Well. I'm afraid eliminating Nabazov activated a ring of sleeper agents. My current theory is that the network signal spike in Bangkok was a go signal, something automated. A kill switch? Who are the targets? So far, we've identified two cult members meeting in Sapienza to exchange a viral weapon. Something, and I quote, apocalyptic. The client asks us to eliminate them both and extract the weapon. Very well. Give me the details. Your first target is Craig Black, renowned author of the Cassandra Snow franchise. He's hosting a late-night book reading in the Sapienza Church, a VIP event, invitation only. His publisher has spared no expense, so expect on-site security. The second target is Brother Akron. Intercepts indicate they will meet at the stroke of midnight to hand over the viral weapon. It is highly likely that Craig Black will leave Sapienza once he has the weapon. Plan accordingly. The client requires that you retrieve the weapon. Intel indicates it's small and easily moved, but be careful with it. A pickup team will be ready when you extract. I've uploaded the rest of the information. Let me know what you need, and I'll make sure it's ready when you arrive. Good evening, 47. Your primary target is at the book reading in the Sapienza Church, across the Marina Square. It is invitation only, so you will need to acquire one, or find another way to infiltrate. Intercepts indicate that the cult operative has already arrived. Furthermore, I expect them to meet at midnight. Listen for the church bells. Once the meeting is done, your primary target will attempt to depart. Eliminate him before he can do so. You must also locate and retrieve the viral weapon. One of your two targets will have it in their possession. It will be something small and easily moved. Do be careful with it, though. Good hunting. That is renowned literature critic, Mike Vogt. He will certainly have an invitation to the reading. Perhaps you should be heading home? No, it's rough. 
I mean, I love literature, but Cassandra Snow is not Attention. Just step back, people. Let me let me spew any second. Take it from me, my friend. That Stay is Brother doing... Akram, your second target. He isn't particularly discreet. <laughs> Team ready to take possession of the weaponized virus as soon as you extract. Do be careful with it. Sir, I'm afraid you don't have the right player in your
Hey there, big guy. Forty-seven, the targets are heading for the meeting now. That is Craig Black. Author and aspiring mass murderer. Kill confirmed. Craig Black has been eliminated. All objectives complete. Good work, 47. That's correct, 47. ICA Intel has just confirmed the exact coordinates of the US-bound signal from Nabazov's dead man's trigger. It's remote. Sounds perfect. Quite. We've borrowed an NSA satellite, and so I'm looking at the location now. It appears to be some kind of paramilitary compound, but Intel is limited. However, we do have a positive ID on another of Nabazov's disciples, a medical doctor with a live sample of the Nabazov virus. Small place for a dispersal. Maybe just a test. Or an act of desperation. We cannot allow this to spread, 47. I'm uploading a full briefing to your laptop. Review as soon as you can. All right, 47. Your primary target is medical doctor and radical cultist Bradley Payne. Intel confirms that Payne has already infected a number of unsuspecting militia operatives with the Nabazov virus. Initial examination of the virus show it to be incredibly infectious and utterly lethal. Fortunately, there is no indication that the virus has spread beyond the compound. However, in order to prevent any contagion, Payne must be eliminated along with any infected mercenaries. To remove the risk of exposure to the virus, we're recommending you go long range for this one. 
I will be providing intel upon touchdown, identifying targets for you once you've set up your sniper nest. Good luck, 47. Welcome to Colorado, 47. Your primary target is Dr. Bradley Payne. From what I can determine, he's already infected a number of militia members with Nabazov's virus. To ensure containment, we must eliminate everyone who has been in contact with it. I'm pulling up details on whom that might be, and will pass it on to you as soon as possible. It will be piecemeal, however. I suggest you do not engage the primary target until we are certain that all the infected have been eliminated. Good hunting. I'm looking at the data now. I'll have some intel for you shortly. The target is a mechanic or similar. There's a carpool and garage near the red barn. Look for him there. That is your primary target. See, wait, 47. One of the infected is trying to escape. Take him down now. We can't let any of them get away. Confirmed, 47. Bradley Payne has been eliminated. Now focus on the poor sods he infected. One of the infected targets has almost escaped, 47. Take the shot. Escaping patient eliminated, 47. Well done. Look for your target near the garage by the red barn. He's almost certainly one of the mechanics. Let me see. The doctor's journal refers to unexpected extreme narcolepsy. The target might be lying down or asleep. Right, this should be helpful. We're looking for a mechanic, 47, but not one actively working on a vehicle. He's on a break, right? An infected target eliminated. Well done. Another one of the infected is making a run for it. Take him down now, 47. Escaping patient eliminated, 47. Well done. I'll have intel on the final infected target shortly. The target is on guard duty, somewhere in the farm's junkyard near the water tower. Here we go, 47. Hmm, this is tricky. His medical records indicate a sudden range of paranoid behaviors, nervousness, and anxiety attacks. Here we go. This should help ID him. This should be easy to spot. He likes to play the guitar. Do you have eyes on? One of them is trying to escape 47. Eliminate him before he can get clear. He's almost out, 47. Eliminate him now. Let me just confirm. Yes, that's all of them. Good. We're done here, 47. Get out of that tower and head for the airstrip. Good work in Colorado, 47. I hope you've managed to get some sleep on your Trans-Pacific flight. I'm fine. As always. Well, as you've guessed, you're en route to Japan. We've intercepted a memo indicating that local authorities have detained a man suspected of carrying an infectious disease and shipped him off to a medical facility further north. Another cult operative. That has been confirmed, yes. But even better. We believe this man is the one responsible for the development of the virus itself. His last known whereabouts match the final set of coordinates set by Nabazov's dead man's trigger. It appears he was headed for Sydney, Australia but his arrest put a stop to that. That was fortunate. Luck has little to do with it. 
Passengers noticed him performing some sort of religious ritual in the airport lounge and got nervous. Police detained him for further questioning when he started showing signs of illness. Standard protocols kicked in and he's now en route to Hokkaido. The mission briefing will be available for review in a few moments. You have two targets. First, Owen Cage, the rogue viral researcher responsible for the weaponization of the Nabazov virus. Cage was moved to the Hokkaido Gamma facility by Japanese authorities. All evidence indicates that he infected himself, intending to become patient zero. He is currently being kept alive in isolation by your second target, Klaus Lieblied. An Ether Corporation scientist, Dr. Lieblied is trying to extract as much information about the virus as possible before Owen Cage dies. We cannot allow Ether to succeed in reverse engineering the virus and profiting from it. Your task is simple, 47. Contain the virus by eliminating Cage and Lieblied. Whatever happens, the Nabazov virus must be destroyed. We must contain it here, no matter the cost. I'll leave you to prepare. Welcome to Hokkaido, 47. Owen Cage is currently held in isolation in a heavily quarantined area of the hospital. He seems to be in the late stages of the infection, delirious and confused. He is also extremely contagious. Do not approach him without taking precautions. Klaus Lieblied is examining Cage in his makeshift lab. I need to stress this again, 47. The virus is absolutely lethal. It cannot be allowed to escape the facility, no matter the cost. Proceed with caution. Shit. 47, listen. I've registered another infected patient. The virus is spreading. I've shared the data with you. I... You're infected. You will need to find a solution for that. Forty-seven. I've located the antidote for the Nabazov virus in the stem cell storage facility. Mind you, there is only that one sample. Get to it, quickly.
strange. Sure to get all of it into your system, 47. All right, 47. That should provide you with immunity to the Nabazov virus. Forty-seven, I am still registering okay, infected in the hospital. Be sure to take care of it before leaving. We cannot allow this virus to spread. Oh! Oh no! Oh, oh, oh. Elimination confirmed, Forty-seven. Damn Nebuzov and his virus. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is Alpha 3. Alpha. That is Owen Cage. From the looks of him, it's a miracle he's still alive. That is Dr. Klaus Lieblied, 47. He cannot be allowed to leave the facility. Confirmed. Well done, 47. Time to wrap this up. Target down. Well done, 47. I am still registering infected at the facility, however. Once you've contained the situation, head for an exit. Eliminated. Well done, 47. No one else is infected. We've managed to contain the virus. Head for an exit as soon as you can.
Damn. Very well done, 47. Owen Cage and Klaus Liebliet are both dead, and the Nabazov virus has no chance to spread. I've relayed the information to the board. They offer their congratulations. We'll speak again shortly. I finished the final operations report for the client. And the weaponized virus? Destroyed. I supervised it. This was a close-run thing, 47. Nabazov's plan was brilliant. This is beyond the work of a cult. This is tradecraft. Indeed. Of course, as far as the ICA is concerned, the contract is closed. Sounds like you have some work ahead of you before I get involved. I have to go. I've acquired the target. Good evening, 47. Your destination is the Paris Fashion Show by Sanguine, one of Europe's leading couture brands. Your targets are Sanguine owner Viktor Novikov, a former oligarch turned fashion mogul, and his partner Dahlia Margolis, a retired supermodel, an iconic power couple on the global fashion scene, and two of the most dangerous people in the world. Novikov and Margolis are in fact the ringleaders of Iago, an enigmatic spy ring that deals in the global elite's most valuable secrets. Unscrupulous and opportunistic, Iago has caused disastrous security leaks all over the globe. When Crimean separatists caused a deadly meltdown at the Odessa nuclear power plant, Iago gave them access to the plant's security network. And when the Delgado drug cartel shot down the plane of President Hernandez and his family, Iago provided the classified flight plans. Now Novikov and Mogolis have obtained a knock list of British undercover agents, which they plan to sell at a secret Iago auction during the Sanguine show. So our client, MI6, need us to stop the ringleaders before the knock list ends up in the wrong hands. The Sanguine show will be swarming with security, and Viktor Novikov will be the focus of everyone's attention. But despite his posturing, he is merely the money man. The real target is Dahlia Mogolis. Beautiful and brilliant, she is a master manipulator and the true brains behind Iago. Two targets, a highly public event. At first glance, an impossible task. Then again, I do know how you love a challenge. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Paris, 47. The show is just about to start. This is the red carpet event of the season, and the guest list is a veritable who's who of the global fashion elite. You will find Viktor Novikov basking in the spotlight, while Dalia Margolis hosts the heavily guarded auction on the second floor for a group of Iago's top customers. 
Now, event security will keep a watchful eye on any suspicious activity. But I trust your timeless look shall fit right in. Good luck, 47. Step right in, sir. Enjoy your evening. Look, look, look there he is. That's me. Central, area is clear. Please advise. Over. Ma'am, I wish I had that jaw. <laughs> Stop. You look fine. I know I look fine, but he's like a... security oh, measures so you can't come up through on here the second floor. please go okay. back the other way
Enlighten me, Nicholas. That's not very good, is it? Class action lawsuit. And how do you deem their chances in court? Is that? Both targets are down. Great work. Now head towards an exit. How was Moscow? Kamarov is gone. I set him up as a Langley spy. It's quite the scandal at the FSB. His death will not be investigated. Your turn. Very well. The secrets of the global elite. Five years of work. Everything we've collected. This thing makes WikiLeaks look like a gossip rag. The pen beats the sword, huh? I have found that whoever wields the sword decides who holds the pen. Smile, Victor. Your reputation is safe. Now run along. I'm sure you have pretty dresses to attend to. Victor, good luck with the show. 
I have a feeling it's going to be the one you'll be remembered for. Good morning, 47. Your destination is the coastal town of Sapienza, also known as the jewel of the Amalfi Coast. Your target is a former client of ours, Silvio Caruso, a brilliant but troubled bioengineer employed by the Ether Biotech Corporation. Renowned for his early stem cell research, Caruso is now reportedly working on a far more disturbing project, a DNA-specific virus able to infect anyone, anywhere in the world. Imagine a bullet fired in any direction, passing through countless bodies without inflicting harm, invisible and undetectable until it strikes its target. A world of armchair assassins killing with impunity. This is what awaits us, unless Caruso is stopped. Our client, one of Ether's major private stockholders, wants the project cancelled on ethical grounds, but without destroying the company in the process. She has asked us to eliminate Silvio Caruso and destroy the yet unfinished virus prototype. You will also need to deal with Caruso's lab head, Francesca DeSantis, a high-level Ether employee and cutthroat corporate climber who holds intimate knowledge of Caruso's research and could potentially carry on in his place. This is no ordinary contract, 47. Caruso's virus is a serious threat to our craft and trade, not to mention our core ideals. So failure is not an option. I'll leave you to prepare. Welcome to Sapienza 47. Silvio Caruso's family home is right across the square. The bioengineer suffers from acute travel phobia, so the Ether Corporation has installed a state-of-the-art field laboratory somewhere below ground. Expect security levels to rise as you get close to the virus. Good luck, 47. Oh, boy! Oh, boy! 
heard anything out of the ordinary. Understood? Yeah, yeah. Command, I have arrived at the location, and it looks clear. Over. We have a security breach, but don't worry. The pros are here. Heard. Understood. Watch and learn. Acknowledged. prototype will be close by. Look for some type of quarantine unit. Can't throw things around. Find a garbage can. down. Next up, Silvio Caruso. Man, I have arrived at the location and it looks clear.
target remaining. Objectives complete. Now head towards an exit. The security's in the dark about the incident. A few at the company knew about the virus. Not even the board. Must have been someone at the lab. <sighs> I understand. 
I'll get to the bottom of this. <sighs> Boss is unhappy. I followed you from Italy. I guess when you're invisible, you stop looking over your shoulder. You did this. Iago exposed you. I see how you did the heavy lifting. I just pulled some strings. Yeah, you mind? How do you expect... I play dirty. That's how you defeat a stronger opponent. You strike from behind. Now give me the key. You have a family? Trust me, if there's a weakness, Providence will find it. I'll take my chances. The key. Fine. Won't do much good. It's funny. Cobb said the same thing. Thank you, messenger. Don't. I just killed you. Then we're even. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zedan, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47.
You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. So, do we have an understanding? Yeah, yeah, sure, of course. I just, I just don't see the need for all the secrets. Massage expert Connie Engstrom reported the reception desk. That was Connie Engstrom. Please go to the reception desk.
guards over here if anyone, you know, needs it. Target down. Next up, Razor Zaydan. Still nothing. Stand by. Now to locate General Zaydan.
enough to be. He likes to pretend that he's solid or something, but he's just a guy with a shiny oh. ego and an ego to match. Huh. Bloody... Those dogs are going to regret this. Out of your minds. You think you can just disrespect your superiors without consequences? Shame on you. I should have you both. Dis both targets down. Now head towards an exit. Compromised, but I, I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. But except for your late predecessors. Comp? But his plane went down over the Pacific. 
It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. People die, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus, someone knows about us. There was a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. <clears throat> How much was that? Money. <laughs> the money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives. Like you. Take a trench, Director. And make it a deep one. Because none of you are safe anymore. Morning 47. Your destination is the Himapan Luxury Hotel Resort on the Chao Praia River just outside Bangkok. Your main target is Jordan Cross, the lead singer of The Class, a renowned indie rock outfit recording their highly anticipated sophomore album. But this millennial poster boy harbors a dark secret. One year ago, promising young actress Hannah Highmore fell to her death from Cross's penthouse loft in Dumbo, New York. According to the police, Miss Highmore's death was a tragic accident, but her parents remain unconvinced. They firmly believe that Cross murdered Hannah and only escaped justice due to the power and influence of his father, billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross. A secondary target, Ken Morgan, corporate fixer and attorney to the Cross family, is also staying at the hotel. Cunning and unscrupulous, Morgan was a key agent in the cover-up of Hannah Highmore's murder and Jordan Cross's subsequent acquittal. The Highmores understandably want retribution, and while the system may be powerless, ICA is anything but. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Bangkok, 47. Ken Morgan has booked the Queen Suite, but has yet to check in. You will find him in and around the restaurant. Oddly enough, Jordan Cross seems completely unaware of his presence. Cross and the class have set up a recording studio in the Emperor's Suite on the third floor. Private security around Cross and his entourage is highly capable. Still, I'm sure you can find your way into his inner circle. After all, today is Jordan Cross's 27th birthday. The age when rock stars die. Good luck, 47.
Have you seen Heidi Santoro, the guitarist? Look, you want me to deliver it? Deliver what, mate? The letter, Neil. The one Dexy Barrett told you to take out of reception. child throwing stuff around. Okay, screw this. I just lost my concentration. Never. Not the back of my Hmm, strange. What was that? Come on, what is this? Target down. Next up, Ken Morgan.
What the? Find out what that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got nothing here. Yeah, I copy that. Hmm. Got some strange noises here. Looking into it, over. hotel in the whole of Thailand and I'm being called house staff it's so humiliating it's the hotel's policy keep it exclusive yet humble house staff just sounds better maybe but this is still a hotel not some fancy apartment complex it's a five-star luxury What? Weird. Watch out! Yeah, yeah! What the? That... Special something. He's around. 
down here. Over. That's understood. Out. Central, area is clear. Please advise. Over. She was my manager. Tixie, managing your shit, man. <laughs> What's in this? Stay alert. Understood. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. Move in. Nice. Yeah, Bart. Let me out of here.
my next ex-husband. stripped clean within hours of the kidnapping. Someone wanted the son dead to lure out the father. Someone smart enough to stay in the shadows while we did the wet work, and the High Moors picked up the check. A shadow client. Someone got rich. The contract was just. How was this our problem? I know you don't care about politics, 47. But ICA is neutral, or as has been. Can't allow ourselves to be manipulated. Besides... It's happened before. Italy. Morocco. Paris. All our clients got their intel the same way. Anonymous tips from a hidden source. Each contract perfectly legit. Yet part of a grander design. see the pattern. Somebody does. The board has asked us to chase down this shadow client, and our analysts are closing in as we speak. I know that tone. Someone's playing a game, 47. The question is, against whom? We have a lead on the Shadow Client. 
ICA White Hats have traced the anonymous data received by our clients to one Olivia Hall, brilliant young hacktivist and suspect in a dozen cases of cyber vandalism. Using onion routing with state-of-the-art encryption, Hall went to a lot of trouble to stay untraceable. She is good, but we are better. Her digital trail has led us to a remote farm in Colorado, where satellite footage has revealed what appears to be the training camp for a private militia, led by an already registered target, Sean Rose, Australian environmental terrorist and explosives expert wanted for a series of public bombings. Rose was spotted near the scene of Thomas Cross's kidnapping, which makes him our prime suspect for the shadow client. Spurred by Eric Soders, the ICA board of directors has asked us to infiltrate the farm and eliminate Sean Rose, along with three other prominent militia members. Ezra Berg, retired Mossad interrogator. Penelope Graves, former Interpol anti-terror analyst, and finally Maya Parvati, former assassin and gunrunner for the Tamil Tigers. I'll be honest with you, 47. I consider Eric Soda's reasoning hasty and ill-advised. Now, we cannot go against the wishes of the board, but we can conduct our own investigation. Whether a direct threat to the ICA or not, we need to know the Shadow Client's true agenda. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colorado, 47. The militia has taken up HQ at an old apricot farm and appear to be training for a series of coordinated strikes ranging from cyber attacks to full-blown guerrilla warfare. The Shadow Client appears to unite specialists and radicals from all over the map. Mercenaries and terrorists, hackers and spies joined by an unknown common cause. Satellite scans indicate that the command room is below ground inside an old tornado shelter. Only Rose appears to have access, however, so to get inside, you will need to get creative. This environment is hostile and highly alert, so tread carefully. Good luck, 47. Sean Rose in charge of operations. I don't get it. Why'd the boss pick him? Why not Raynard? The way I see it, Raynard the long huh? Our body is. What?
What? Checking perimeter. Stand by. I love the air. Ezra Berg has been eliminated. Good work, 47. Talk to me, what's going on? He disappeared! Watch your six! Come on. Keep your Come eyes peeled. You this could be dangerous. Over. Here we Ten go four. Again. Come on, I think we got some trouble. Clear, I am getting seriously tired of this. What's the problem? We've got a certified nuisance that needs to be addressed. Can you tell me anything about who we're looking for? I didn't get a visual. Cowboy up, we're in business. There's a troublemaker out there that needs to be apprehended immediately. Any intel on the possible suspect? I have no info on the suspect. Hmm. What a beautiful clock. I bet Rose tinkers with it every chance he gets. He's almost obsessed with this thing. Graves is down. Excellent work, 47. We're looking for an armed individual. Take your precautions. Definitely not work. Huh? What the? This shit is broken.
Someone is playing games with me, but I'm cool. I'm keeping my cool. Over. Maya Parvati is down. Good work. What a waste of time.
Sean Rose confirmed down. Nicely done, 47. Assassin Actual, this is Alpha One Actual. Area is clear. Please advise. Over. Man, I got some weird shit flying around. Moving in. Rose is gone. It wasn't me, wasn't it? They tracked me. I don't believe it. I took every precaution. Rose knew the risks. They all do. You did well, Olivia. I am proud of you. Now listen. The ICA knows about you. They kept you alive because they needed you, and now they don't. We won't talk again. Not until the storm is over. I don't like it. This man nobody's capable of. You need to end this now. I ran away as a boy. My friend and I, away from that place. We came upon a small farming community. The people were dirt poor, but this woman, she took us in. We were awakened the next morning by the shots. A dozen people lay face down in the snow. A warden didn't like to leave witnesses. They shot the woman and her family last. They made sure that we watched the whole thing. 
This is your gift, the warden told us. Your gift and your curse. Touching lives only by ending them. Better than anyone. Good morning, 47. The board has sanctioned Eric Soda's for termination. After Colorado, we did some digging into Soda's private affairs and discovered that he has been fast-tracked for critical heart surgery at the hyper-exclusive Gama Private Hospital in Hokkaido, Japan. Such a display of power has providence written all over it. Sodas, who suffers from a rare condition known as situs inversus, where his internal organs are reversed, desperately needs a right-sided heart transplant and has clearly betrayed the ICA to get it. He was admitted last night and is currently being prepped for a three-day surgery. We have booked you into Gama under the usual guise of Tobias Reaper, corporate shark, here for a standard medical checkup. As such, you will need to play it by ear and procure whatever tools you need to complete the mission. You also need to eliminate Yuki Yamazaki, a Tokyo lawyer who works for Providence. Sodas has already given Yamazaki access to our client records and has agreed to provide a full list of active ICA operatives post-operation. This transaction cannot be allowed to happen. Sodas must pay for his treachery, and his insidious employers must be taught a lesson. ICA's sovereignty is at stake. Powerful as Providence may be, we need to draw a line in the sand. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Hokkaido 47. The Gama Private Hospital provides cutting-edge medical treatment for the global elite outside the law if required. The facility is partially run by an artificial intelligence system known as Kai. The AI oversees patient admission to various areas in the hospital and even participates in some medical procedures. You will find Eric Soders in the operating theater, undergoing a pre-surgery regenerative stem cell treatment, a highly controversial procedure yet to be approved by Japanese authorities. Yuki Yamazaki has already arrived. You'll find her in her suite or roaming the restaurant and spa areas of the hospital. Sodas is scheduled to be put under soon. Let us make sure he stays that way. Good luck, 47. Hello, Mr. Reaper. As part of the service here at Gamma, your personal room has been outfitted with a radio frequency identification chip. The device will unlock and allow access to your personal suite. Looking good, man. Looking good. Okay, desu ka? Genki to Scott. You know, it's actually been nice to meet you. Yeah, I mean, I've never seen you here before. Hi there. <laughs> How you doing? Sometimes be a bit chatty. It's just that I love to meet new people, and I am not judgmental at all. <laughs> My parents are far too rich to make How me are you, judgmental. Sir? Don't I look like, uh, Hush or uh, the Invisible Man or maybe, maybe Dark Man? Yeah, shut up. Totally Dark Man. <laughs> you look like the mummy. So what kind of work did Hello. you do? Hello. Can you keep a secret? Shut up. I'm being shot to look like Helmut Kruger. Yeah. Helmut Kruger? Come on. Yeah, yeah. Con bon one. 
So are you doing yoga today? I wish. I had two lessons booked, but I just got informed that I have been bumped back in the queue. Oh, and that's, that's got to be an error, right? If she wants something, you let her have it. Is that who she is? Ugh. Well, that certainly changes things. Maybe you're right. Oh, she's a real piece of work, that one. I mean, maybe the instructor's gone into hiding because he's afraid of her. Yeah, I mean, imagine having to instruct someone like that. One wrong move, and she toss you over. That is Yuki Yamazaki, former lawyer to the Yakuza and current operative for Providence. Ah, finally. A bit of privacy. Get down. Now it's time for Sodas to retire. Good evening. Yes, I am. Hey, 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 Tell me you got another one. Yep, way ahead. Harsh, isn't it? A total ban? I don't know. Patient did die. Huh? What? You know, I'm trying to keep calm. I, I don't know. Mr. Okay, Jason fine. Portman, please come to the hospital entrance. A doctor will escort you to your checkup. That was for Mr. 
Jason Portman. A doctor will escort you to your appointment. Please proceed to the hospital entrance. Waiting game. Shut up. Spence is killing me. I'm going. Ah, oh, Mr. Portman. Perfect timing. Follow me to the consultation room, if you please. You must be eager to see the new you. Maybe you can tell me, is it true the boss was connected back in the day? Ogenki Deska. How are you today, sir? See what the hell that was? Yeah, okay. Command, still nothing. Stand by. You have to leave now. We have an emergency lockdown. Anything from anybody else? Over. This area is locked down and is now off. We're in lockdown. I need you to move out. Command, area is clear. Please advise. Over. I hate shoveling snow. He never stops you shovel and then there's more. So, you're the curator's research aide, right? Let me guess. You want to know about the medical trial? Oh, so it is true. The, the guy's had a mood-altering neurochip implanted in his brain, so 
So how does it work? Uh, does it work? Sorry, you're just gonna have to wait for my research paper. Saving the lives That's both targets down. Time to find an exit. We're done here. did die. Famous one at that. Still, it's not the chef's fault. What was a kitchen apprentice thinking, cutting out a fugu fish by himself unsupervised? But it takes years of practice. Did it both? Okay.
Miss Burnwood. That's not what my ticket says. We received your message. Loud and clear, I might add. Honestly, you could have just sacked the poor guy. I didn't catch your name. No, you didn't. There'll be no retaliation, not for Soders, nor any other recent fiascos. Someone's been meddling in our affairs, killing our operatives, and making the ICE look like fools. I think you got close to that someone, closer than we've ever been. That's why we're hiring you to take him down. I don't think so. Don't rattle our cages, Miss Burnwood. You really have no idea. You spy on us, bribe our people, and you have the gall to demand our help. No. You can't be trusted. Even so, we've been around for a long, long time. I think we could help each other. Some 20 years ago, your agency took in a young man with no past and extraordinary skills. In his own special way, he cares about you and vice versa. And ever since that time, you've never stopped wondering where he came from and who made him what he is. There was a doctor, some depraved experiment but he's gone now ah well if you believe the questions died with him we have nothing further to discuss if not as I said I think we could help each other partners then Cheer up, Miss Burnwood. We, we are the lesser evil. This terrorist, he wants nothing but chaos. He's only a terrorist if you win. Miss Burnwood, we won a long time ago. This, this is maintenance. The story so far. Agent 47 and his handler, Diana Burnwood, are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. When all of their recent missions turn out to be contracts for a shadow client, things take an unexpected turn. All their targets have been operatives in an invisible organization known as Providence. Providence has infiltrated the highest echelons of power and secretly owns our world. The Shadow Client wages a silent war against them. And so the Constant, Providence's enigmatic controller, seeks Diana out. His request, track down and eliminate the Shadow Client. In return, he offers something irresistible. The truth of 47's lost origins. Neither know that the man they hunt 
is 47's childhood friend. And unlike 47, he remembers everything. Our intel indicates that she and her team are laying low, most likely planning the militia's next strike. Reynard is one of the Shadow Client's top lieutenants, and yet she's not a target. Not yet, anyway. She's no doubt high on our client's list, but for now, it's information we seek. Infiltrate the house and get us a lead on the Shadow Client. Up for some B&E, 47. On my way. cars they could be out could be lying low the satellite scans were inconclusive only one way to find out I'm afraid Nicely done, 47. Should allow you to move more freely. Here we go. For the office computer, no doubt. I'm in. Hurry. I'm detecting movement up the road. A motorcade, possibly Reynard's. Uploading the data. Hold on. Receiving it now. Hmm. Nothing on the Shadow Client or the other cells. No names, no aliases. I doubt she even knows whom she's working for. Wait, here's something. A message from Robert Knox of Kronstadt Industries. And by the sound of it, he's a Providence operative. A defector? Well, well, well. Client won't like this one bit. And you can't wait to tell him. They're back. Multiple hostiles. I see them. Damn. Got what we're going to get. Go to stage two, 47. Eliminate Reynard, and preferably without raising suspicion. One step ahead of the Shadow Client for once. Let's keep it that way. Ugh, I thought this night would never end. What a snob fest. And I even missed out on the action. <sighs> I'm sorry you had to endure all that free champagne and cello music, Orson. What can I say? You really took one for the team. Yeah, well, I say stick to what you know. Welcome home, Alma and
target down. Well done, 47. Now get off the property. The Mercs have discovered your boat, 47. They're on high alert, combing the beach for intruders. Proceed with caution. to get past the I suggest you cause a distraction, 47, and make it a loud one.
Well, it's official. New Zealand paid off. The client has given us carte blanche. Hunt down the militia by any means necessary. A week ago, Providence was a threat. How did you swing the board? The board are practical people, 47. A blank check is hard to turn down. Besides, the Shadow Client's war on Providence is causing a global panic. Someone will need to stop the militia. Might as well be us. And the man on the train? You never told them about his offer. Taking a contract for personal gain is against ICA regulations. Sodas would have been proud. Is that a sense of humor, 47? Whatever next? Crying at the movies? Why are you doing this? I know what it's like to have everything taken from you. He claims to know about your past. Your childhood, your memories, everything Ortmeier stole from you. And you trust him? About as far as I can throw him. But this is our best lead in 20 years. I say it's time we break a few rules. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is the annual Global Innovation Motor Race in Miami, Florida. After analyzing the data from Reynard's computer, the case is clear. The Providence defectors are Robert and Sierra Knox, head of robotics developer Kronstadt Industries. A visionary inventor and technological innovator, Robert Knox has spearheaded Kronstadt Industries to the bleeding edge of technological development. His equally brilliant daughter, Sierra, is not only a financial wizard, but also a fiercely competitive race car driver with a fiery temper to match. Kronstadt enjoys enormous popularity with global consumers. However, few are aware that the company is also one of the world's leading suppliers of next-gen military tech. Last year, despotic ruler Jin Po employed prototype Kronstadt drones against peaceful civilian protesters in the now infamous Tanyan Valley incident. And although it has yet to be proven, there is little doubt that the Noxes personally brokered the deal, making them complicit in a war crime. It is unclear why the Noxes would betray their masters, but likely the fear of being next on the Shadow Client's hit list has pressured them to cut a deal with the enemy. Undoubtedly, with Kronstadt Industries on their side, the militia will increase their attacks tenfold. And so our contract obligates us to retire Robert and Sierra Knox and contain the damage they may inflict on Providence. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Miami, 47. The innovation race is on its last day, and it is down to the wire. Thousands of eager fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Sierra Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams the nearby expo building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition from the Chinese Kowloon Heavy Industries' new racer. Moses Lee, CEO of Kowloon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. Sierra Knox will need to risk it all if she wants to win for the third year in a row. The stakes are as high as they can get. Sir, I will have to check you if you want to pass, okay? How okay. much time remaining? Thank you, sir. Don't worry. This uh, needs to be over in no time. Still happen.
Okay, let's go, sir. Thank you. Remember, folks, that endurance race is all about getting your car to cover as many miles as possible, no matter how burned out or freed up it may be. I bring you just need to see that invitation, sir. documents from my van, but, um, I had to knock out a guy who came into the meet Wow, this really hurts. Did you see him? The guy that jumped me and grabbed my outfit? Bye-bye money. I don't know. I, I, I need to figure something out. I'll talk soon. some keys over there. Oh man, you're a real lifesaver. Thank you.
Any reports may be Okay. Well, I'm, I'm sure that George makes no Carson sense. Very interested in the reports, concluding that someone has been funneling money from the Palace Project into Tungan Valley damage control. I see. You're taking an awful big risk here. I could just call the cops on you. You're, you're not too smart to do that, Miss Knox. Police show up, arrest me, and the papers go into evidence. It would only be a matter of days before they leak to the media. Pay the money and, and, and I'll be on my way. Huh. No. I think I'll just end you right here. What? Who exactly do you... Leave me alone for a few minutes, guys. Sure thing, Miss Knox. Uh, if you need us, just call. We're right around the corner. Who exactly do you think you're dealing with? You think you can come here and threaten me? I'm Sierra Knox. You're just a tiny fucking sardine in a tank full of sharks, my boy. And you're about to be eaten. Pathetic moron trying to blackmail me using my father against me is the dumbest shit you ever pulled. Nobody pushes me around. Nobody! Now, good fucking riddance. Target down. Next up, Robert Knox. Check the perimeter. Over. With flawless technological execution and persistently excellent driving, this year's winner is undoubtedly the right way. So please join me in giving it.
hurt you a little bit. Well, you know, I inherited that money from my dad, and I figured why not use it for something even more. Weird. I have no idea what that could have been. Sato, who until recently was head designer for famous control. Both targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon.
Berlin. Shanghai. Montreal. We're bleeding operatives. Panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. <laughs> you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't... <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadowboxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Ah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Now, oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> if you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God, this hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. Our Providence contact has shared the identity of the Shadow Client, a former mercenary and bodyguard by the name of Lucas Gray. His past is a black void, but our analysts are digging deep. Meanwhile, we've had a breakthrough of our own. Comparing the malicious attack patterns with global shipping and transportation routes, we've figured out how Mr. Gray and his paramilitaries move around the world undetected. They're using the distribution network of the Delgado Cartel, Colombia's biggest drug manufacturer. Clearly, Gray must have struck a deal with the Delgados. Consequently, if we can cripple the cartel, we can severely limit the malicious strike range. But to do so, we need to slay a three-headed serpent. Sociopathic cartel head Rico Delgado and his two closest lieutenants, PR guru Andrea Martinez and servant chemist Jorge Franco. With equal parts guts and guile, Rico Delgado runs a thriving billion-dollar criminal empire. The word is, the brutal and volatile cartel head is hell-bent on becoming the number one drug lord in the world. To achieve this, Martinez, a childhood friend of Delgado's, has been buttering up state leaders and decision-makers, paving the way for an expansion of the Delgado logistics network while the brilliant but aloof and antisocial Franco has been hard at work developing a new type of super cocaine. So, three of Colombia's most infamous crime lords inhabiting a decidedly hostile environment. 
I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Columbia 47. The remote village of Santa Fortuna awaits you deep inside the Colombian rainforest. An iron-fisted Delgado cartel rules over the village and its surroundings. Security around Santa Fortuna and the closed-off cartel compound is extremely tight. Armed Sicarios patrol the streets of the village, ready to enforce harsh punishments to those who do not comply. Rumors persist of hidden transportation cave systems connecting the village, the cartel compound, and the hidden coca fields beyond. It is a rare occurrence to have all three cartel leaders present in the village at the same time. Expect that all targets are protected by scrupulous killers armed with automatic weapons. Rico Delgado inhabits his fortified mansion on the outskirts of the village, while Andrea Martinez can be found in her village office or around Santa Fortuna itself. And Jorge Franco is engaged in development of a new drug in his field laboratory. Happy hunting, 47. Mr. Rodriguez, what can we do for you? I was supposed to have a quick meeting with Senorita Martinez. Do you know where she is? She should be back any minute now. Ah, perfect. See what that's all about, would you? All right. Oh. I'm sure I saw something. Oh. All right. Everything seems okay. Oh, yeah. I have no idea what that could have been. Huh? <laughs> Martinez is down. Good work. They had 15 guys in lockup in Mala, and yet all of them worked two hours after Brink broke in. Well, that's only half the story. Martinez has spent six months setting them up, talking to the Guatemala military under the cover of the nobles. They were back in the castle. Hey, you're looking good today, man. Good for you. Oh, yeah. So how about Luisa and that new dress of hers? Doesn't leave much to imagination, unless, of course, you have to imagine that she looks good in it.
Something fresh is happening. I'll check it out. So this new way won't be was brought in. No, financial. Did you hear how you're still the love letter Hector Delgado wrote for Martinez? Like, he doesn't have to jump out of a window before Hector discovered it. I think he heard it like in the process. Yeah, I heard it. Even thought that I go along the page with Bob and Martinez. Weird. Thank Hector and Martinez. What? Can you believe this guy? Talking to hippos, my ass. Did you talk to Rico? Sure did. Told him the hippo guy was getting no hair. And that I had a story that was shooting for him. Oh, yeah? You're telling me you have some sort of uh, magic uh, fight. fight. I'm a professional fellow in a with for you. Now I can do this. Like you said, just gotta find a way to get oh, it. Oh, no. Like, no. I pitched the idea to Hey, hey. Simple enough, really. Pull it through the head. Drop his body. Who the hell threw that? That's not cool. Out. No, how much he loves me. I'm guessing he wasn't much of a fan. It's not. He's been talking to it ever since. Hardly slept or anything. Nothing like the whatever in minimum bed to get people motivated. <laughs> That is Rico Delgado, head of the Delgado drug cartel. Rico! Oh, my little Mijo! <laughs> Come to Papa, it's me. Huh? It's your Papa coming to you, little one. Come on. Oh, how are you, buddy? I am impressed with your work. Yeah, I honestly thought that I would have to take to the hippo, but you, you pulled it off. <laughs> Look, I'll wire you your payment as for our agreement. Now, if you'd excuse me, and leave us alone for a little while. I want to spend some time with me and about this. Ah, you are beautiful, beautiful. I think we need to cut down on those grow things for a while, huh? Huh? Yes. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do.
Delgado has been eliminated. Nicely done. All targets neutralized. This should paralyze the cartel. Excellent work, 47. Now head for an exit.
status. Columbia assignment successful. Tactical targets neutralized. Militia transport network disabled. Location of primary target unknown. Team chasing several leads. End message, encrypt and send. checks out. We can prove the board knew about the chemical leaks. We'll have grounds for a retrial. It won't make a difference. They're too powerful. They're not the devil, Nancy. Just a company. They're not above the law, don't you see? This is bigger than James. Those bastards killed 80 people. And they got away with it. Think about what that means. No one's untouchable. No one's untouchable. Diana! Coming! Got what we came for. Move out. Forty seven. The militia has released a hostage tape, outing the existence of Providence to the world. This was a fatal mistake, and our analysts are tracing its origin as we speak. In the meantime, we have a lead on Lucas Gray's top lieutenant. Turns out the Delgado cartel's counterfeiting unit was creating fake IDs for the militia, and one operative in particular stands out, Wazir Kale, an infamous South China Sea pirate, better known by his nom de guerre, the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom and his cutthroat band of outlaws were the scourge of the shipping industry in the post-recession years. But his reign of terror came to an end with the disastrous 2014 hijacking of the supertanker, Francis King. Chinese elite forces stormed the ship, resulting in the deaths of a dozen sailors and most of the Maelstrom's crew. But Carle slipped away unseen. The Maelstrom's connection to Grey is unknown. But we believe it was he who carried out the audacious killing of a Providence CEO in Shanghai, along with two reactivated members of his old pirate gang, Vanya Shah, a shady figure in Mumbai's criminal underworld, and Darwood Rangan, the gang's old cashier turned dodgy movie producer. Shaw, Rangan, and the Maelstrom form Lucas Gray's Eastern Cell. They are a crack strike team, and stopping them is our client's most pressing concern. Unfortunately, the elusive maelstrom appears to have vanished into the seedy underbelly of Mumbai, the cradle of his criminal legend, and no one knows his whereabouts or what he currently looks like. So, a bandit queen, a showbiz charlatan, and one certifiable ghost. I shall leave you to prepare. Welcome to Mumbai, 47. One of the most densely populated cities in the world, home to more than 12 million people. If you wanted to disappear and hide from the world, this vast city is perfect. 
The maze-like sprawling slums offer secret paths and surprises around every corner. The elusive Maelstrom knows the city like the back of his own hand. Locating him will be a considerable challenge. A place to start could be the slums where his former gang, the Crows, has recently risen from the ashes. Darwood Rangan will be easy to find in his half-finished tower, wrapping up his new film called Mumbai Hero. While Vanya Shah has ensconced herself in the overgrown remains of an old train yard. Your three targets call this labyrinthine part of the city home, so choose your approach carefully. This is one of the Mumbai chores. My records show a few residential complaints about a new tenant in the building. Something related to strange behavior. Might be worth looking into. Will do. Oh no! No! Please, no! Gotta get out of here, man. Yes. Find the shooter so that we can put an end to this bullshit. I hear you. Hey, snap out of it. Command. Time to get. I have arrived at the location and it looks clear. Over. I would strongly advise you to leave the area. Ah, Tika, got it. For nothing.
47, our intel suggests the Maelstrom is hiding somewhere in the city slums. I've marked the headquarters of the Crows on your map. I know. What are the odds? But there he was, Gregory Arthur. Forty-seven. The street gang known as the Crows are on high guys. alert. They seem to be on the lookout for potential assassins, and will be suspicious of anyone they don't recognize. I suggest you are mindful around them in the slums. Maelstrom left Mumbai because he was recruited by the British. Why? All the evidence is right there. Littering is like caused a pillar a of purple smoke to rise party. above the slums. Let's see what happens That's next, 47. 47, Shaw and Rangan are both on the move. I think they're heading for the beach area near the slums. That is Vanya Shah, self-appointed queen of the Mumbai slums. Greetings, sir. Where is that self-centered idiot? He's always late for everything. Not to mention our benefactor. Kale is so secretive, I would not expect him to show up at all. But Rangan is so much in love with himself, I'm surprised he isn't already here with his entire entourage of fans. Right, you are, my friend. It is rather strange, I don't think. Or at least it's unlikely. I suppose. Dao. That is Darwood Rangan, producer of mediocre movies and a full-time criminal. His brutality is overshadowed only by his giant ego.
Sonia Shaw and Darwood Rangan both confirmed killed. Very nicely done. Just one target left. Let's bring this one home. I know we're supposed to raise the flag when this Neha lady tells us. Hmm. A letter signed Wazir. This house once belonged to the Maelstrom 47. This confirms a connection between him and the woman living here now. Sometimes I think he's just a myth. A legend we tell ourselves to have something to look up to. I mean, have you ever seen him? No. But I volunteered for this in case he did show up. But it would be quite... Uh -huh. Shit! That scared the no, hell out of me. But I had this was a serious issue. You should but go see what it was. We can't do much more. Yeah. So for now, no worries. we're going to stand down, but stay sharp. I've got nothing. Yeah, of course. Hmm? No. But I uh -huh, volunteered for this in okay. case he did show up. It would be quite the story to tell the others, right? Yeah, sure would be. 47? Someone's coming up the stairs leading to the secured area. Is it looks it like a man. See if you can get close to him. Around here? I told him and I've told you. I can take care of myself. You're scaring the neighbors. Madam, Samjona, just following orders. Boss told us to evacuate everyone and stick around until after the meeting. That's what we are doing. So you have talked to him? Nobody talks to the boss. He left a message. Oh. When are you ready for us to give the signal? Boss, he's still up to his old tricks, isn't he? I'll be ready soon. Give me some time. Fine. Just tell the guys upstairs when they'll raise the flag and summon him. Forty-seven? That's the Maelstrom. You found him. The infamous Maelstrom is dead. Very well done, 47. Mission completed. Time to find an exit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, gosh. You need help. I'm going to try to find someone. Hang on, okay? I'm 
Still we have good steady work. According to records, this was a youth correctional facility until 1962, when the estate was overtaken by an obscure Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. It looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. He's here. Be careful, 47. The breadcrumbs were almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Not a trap. An invitation. You came home. I knew you would. You've come a long way, 47. And even now, you don't remember. This place. This was our prison, where Father trained us, shaped us into killers for Providence. Now, you don't remember. They ripped it out of you, wiped it away, but I do. I remember everything. You're a terrorist with nothing to lose. You'd say anything. I know it's difficult. You never miss your mark or question your function, but we made a pact, you and I. Do this. And we both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived. Because of you. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. What was his name? Subject 6. Your name is Subject 6. And what is our purpose? To take them all down. We were gonna tear it all down. The Institute, Providence, everyone who'd ever hurt us. We failed. The partners grew paranoid, made sure that Ortmeier's children would never challenge them again. I'm the only one who got away unchanged. The only one left who remembers. Ortmeier was Providence. Everything he did to us, everything he made us do, it all leads back to them. <laughs> I'm breaking more rules than I care to count, Mr. Gray. What's your play? The partners hide behind a cloak of anonymity. Only one man knows their true identities. Your client, the top controller, the one they call the Constant. He is the key. <laughs> but he is untraceable. So what am I missing? A man would come to the Institute. A man with a Providence pin. The first Constant. If we find him, if he's still alive, he's our way in. You don't know who he is, but 47 does. <laughs> That's what this reunion is all about. Show them. You're just gonna hand it over. Our one bargaining chip. Olivia. <sighs> Fine. 47's memory was erased. 
irreversibly at the time. But after Ortmeier's death, his estate was acquired by the Ether Corporation. And they made an antidote. It's a long shot, I know. This is not how it works. We don't just join the revolution. ICA is neutral. We don't take sides. I hate to break it to you, lady, but neutrality is a side. It's the side of the status quo. People have died. Civilians. You align yourself with terrorists, murderers. Sometimes even monsters serve a purpose. Look. Enough. You have a choice. But I made mine a long time ago. I will finish what I started. Subject 47, most gifted of all my boys. So you're the pick of the litter. Tell me about the incident. The subject ran away, he and another boy. The instigator was punished accordingly. As were all the neighbors. My men did what needed to be done. It won't happen again. Bring your house in order, Doctor. You won't like the alternative. I remember who he is. Gentlemen, let's go over the plan. The first constant is none other than Janus, the legendary Cold War spy master, a KGB senior officer and head of the sixth column special branch at Lubienka. Janus is a certified genius and expert of counterintelligence. He retired from the KGB in 1988 when he fell out of favor with the Kremlin and defected to the US. Shortly after, the Soviet Union collapsed. Now, it is unclear when Janus stepped down as the Constant, but since 2004, he has been a resident of a quiet community in suburban Vermont. Mr. Gray. Right, so here's the catch. As an elite KGB agent, Janus was trained to withstand interrogation and torture. No amount of pressure will force him to disclose information he doesn't want to. Instead, we will need to search his home for clues. But if Providence learns of our presence, the game is up. So we frame Janus, make Providence think he was the real Shadow Client. Correct. I will file a false ICA report, claiming to have traced a number of calls from Janus's house to the Institute in Romania. The case will seem clear. Mr. Gray was only a figurehead. Janus was pulling the strings all along. And by eliminating him, we will have neutralized the militia once and for all. However, for this subterfuge to work, you'll also need to deal with Janus's security detail. A Providence Herald and former Secret Service agent by the name of Nolan Cassidy. Intel describes him as diligent and inquisitive. And we cannot risk that he contradicts our story to his employer. Seems workable. I certainly hope so. Everything depends on this next move, 47. You made this our fight. Now let's even the playing field. Whittleton Creek, Vermont. On the surface, a picture-perfect suburban dream. Wide roads, golden maple trees, and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white-collar professionals ranging from university staff to government employees. Most, but not all. Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards, and intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. 
Nolan Cassidy, on the other hand, roams the neighborhood streets. A recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. So get in there and find us a lead. Good luck, 47. Grab the pack of smokes that was thrown over the fence from the old guy's garden. No, man. Uh, I'm trying to stop. Ah, well. You know, I think someone in there is trying to help the old geezer stop as well. By throwing that coffin nails over the fence? Well, I don't have any I'm not sure I can find any. Richard, you look at that. Is that for me? The grill seems to have run out. The first annual gathering of the Ark Society. Hmm, that rings a bell. If Janus was its founder, perhaps he's still attending these gatherings, 47. This could be valuable information indeed.
finally. An end to Janus. Death feels like an easy way out for a man like him. Still. We are close now, 47. Coming command. The basement looks clear. Moving on. Out. I swear, I have a license for it. I just don't bring it with me. You can't just confiscate my property. I need it to get rid of an aggressively invasive mole in the poor old man's backyard. Calm down, double the I have to tell you, mm. these are the best muffins I ever had. I'm supposed to meet a client for a house showing today, but <laughs> I can't stop eating. Maybe you know him, Mr. Nolan Cassidy? Um, he stayed there, I do. Well, he's, uh, he's in this great house somewhere. You know, the one that doesn't show up. Janus is apparently engaged in a civil lawsuit with another resident of Whittleton Creek. James Batty, the plaintiff, wants Janus to stop his annual landing of a helicopter near the local creek. Batty claims it interrupts the nesting birds and a species of frog that has been declared endangered. Must be a very important trip given his poor health.
cigar box with a few cigars and a note inside. Well, this is very interesting. The note indicates that the box was given to Janus by the Constant as per tradition, he writes. 47. This could mean the Constant and Janus meet up on a regular basis. Excellent find. Good work, 47. We now know Janus is meeting with the Constant at an event related to the Ark Society. And we have an approximate date as well. I think that's all we're going to get. We're close to the finish line. It's time to end this. Hold on. Nolan Kirsty taken care of. Yeah, Both targets are confirmed killed. Society, one of Providence's more obscure outfits. I've heard whispers. A survivalist club for the global elite, billionaires preparing for a global collapse. And now we know the Constant will attend their next gathering. So where is it? That's the catch. The report is redacted. No names, no location. So it's a dead end. I can't track them, not without ICA backup. Now, I'm no big shot analyst, but it seems to me Janus was the Ark Society's founder, so chances are they'll want to pay their respects in private. Track the coffin. Worth a shot. You're right. It comes back in flashes. Fear, anger, but like it happened to someone else. <sighs> your gift and your curse, what they did to you. Well, I spent a long time feeling guilty about that. Now, I wonder who got the better deal. Yes, found something. What are we looking at? The ass end of nowhere. But this is where Janus's remains were shipped to. Our choice for a final resting place, wouldn't you say? Not bad. So we stake it out. Await the next gathering. Then we waltz in and kidnap one of the world's most powerful men. Without ICA backup. Like I said, it's a long shot. We'll take it. Perspective, please. Janus is dead. Lucas Gray is about to join him. And a cornered animal is twice as dangerous. Let's be perfectly clear. We were not exposed. The threat is neutralized. We are back on track. Even so, from this point on, we expect you to take... No. There is no way I'm doing that. How can you question my loyalty? In case treachery is contagious. Do you really want to do this to me? 
Is there a problem, Secretary? No problem whatsoever, Madam. Here's to loyalty. My man on the island confirms that the Constant has arrived. We head out at sundown. Here, in case the crew get ideas. Why are you doing this, Mr. Gray? You had a chance to walk away. Why didn't you? A year ago, I'm working security for this banker, Cobb. Only to find out he's a Providence operative. I've been running for decades, only to wind up where I started. We've all got barcodes on the back of our heads. Most people just never notice. 47 told me about your parents. How did they die? Car bomb. Surrey, 1989. Company named Blue Seed didn't care to pay for their mistakes. But I like to think no one's untouchable. I'm... I'm sorry for your loss. You feel it, don't you? Unlike him, you feel it all. Everything you've done. It's a dangerous thing, having a conscience. Attention, gentlemen. Our source on the island just made a critical discovery. The Constant has a poison chip embedded in his neck. A failsafe, in case he's compromised. Damn it. Oh, we should have expected something like this. So, we subdue the Constant before he has time to react. Not that simple. The device is remote triggered, and during his stay on the island, two kill switches have been entrusted to twin sisters Zoe and Sophia Washington, two young ambitious Providence operatives and newly appointed chairwomen of the Ark Society. Apparently, even the Constant is unaware of this arrangement. Right, change of plans. We divide and conquer. 47 takes out the Washingtons while I figure out a way to get the Constant off the island. It'll be tight, but once we're back at the ship, we should be able to surgically remove the chip before the partners have time to react. 47? Tell me about the targets. I know them from the archive. Zoe and Sophia's father is president of a powerful conservative think tank. One of Providence's prime assets. The apples don't fall far from the tree. No saints either. According to ICA files, the twins are pampered socialites who get their kicks from treasure hunting. Commanding a band of trigger-happy mercenaries, Zoe and Sophia prowl the world in search for ancient relics. With little regard for local culture or even human life, they stop at nothing to claim their prize. Well, collateral damage they may be, but safe to say, they have it coming. The Isle of Scale. Headquarters of the Ark Society. Founded by Janus in 1991, the Ark Society is the world's most exclusive club. Its plutocratic members fear the downfall of civilization, and they are willing to pay huge sums to ensure their own survival. Once a year, they gather here to shop the latest survival products and to showcase new initiatives and breakthroughs. Right. These gatherings are shrouded in mystery, so we have limited intel on what to expect on the other side of the walls. The Washington Twins are hosting their first annual gathering as chairwomen of the Ark Society, and the Constant is known to attend every year. Beyond that, you're on your own. Good luck, gentlemen. I dare say you're going to need it. Ah, 
One more, I see. Won't you join us, sir? We were just about to begin. Good evening, late Ah, uh, I see someone's in a hurry to get inside. Well, no one's putting a gun. position. Stay alert! Look over there! Roger that. What else? Uh... Ah, yes. Zoe Washington, one of our newly appointed chairwomen, has prepared a brand new official ceremony scheduled to take place in the upper courtyard. A stirring ode to rebirth and the enduring spirit of mankind. I believe that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Please enjoy your evening. The bar is right up ahead. Okay, everything's good. Find out what that was. I get it. No problem. More pressure. Just what I need. Nothing. I have no idea what that was. How'd it go? No. Plastification? Plastination. Plastination. Is this truly what Janus wanted? Going on display in the Ark of Legacy like a... like a wax statue? He never mentioned anything of the sort to me. I assure you, his last will was quite clear on the matter. And may we see this last will? You can ask our lawyer, Mr. Yates. But I already know the answer. Now, if you'll excuse me. I know I'm supposed to feel... something. But the fact is, Janus is a name, not the battle. 
I never actually made it. I don't think anyone did. Not really. But you were part of it. What? Come in. I just heard a weird noise. I'm moving into the best gate. But you were part of it. Back when there was just a few of you, right? One target down. Nice work, 47. Next up, Sophia Washington. Oh yes, almost from the beginning. Three, I think. He still had the. We're in position. Back Switch to defensive position and keep the package in a tight wrap. Technically, Janus was the least powerful man in the room, but I suppose. If you survived Soviet-era KGB facing party purges and thermonuclear <sighs> obliteration on a daily basis... Oh, a close one, but we're still here. Suppose Good job. Not. Thank you. I won't thing. forget this. I mean, the Cold War was over. Crisis averted. Janus didn't see it that way. He saw firsthand how close we came to obliterate. He figured humans are... Both targets down. Impressive work, 47. And now, to confront the Constant. Mr. Gray, what's your status? I'm at the helicopter, but the place is crawling with security. 47, you better bring the Constant to one of the boats in the harbor where it's quiet. You can use the kill switch to coerce. Center of the Earth at one point. 
I'm not kidding. He actually believed the knife would follow. here we're ready to proceed please make your way to the upper courtyard the ceremony is about to begin thank you you know what you should do you should give some more money to charity it always makes me feel good about myself you know men are always going to strike the important thing is to have a great prenup i'm still trying to figure out exactly how much money i have after my divorce the Tonight, sir. I'm just too rich to get married. The Washingtons are dead. I have the kill switch. What did you say? How could you know about that? You will head towards the harbor. No sudden moves. No signs. No warnings. I will trigger the device if I need to. I know you. The boy in the picture. You have his eyes. You're Burnwood's assassin. Move. This damn yoga bitch has got him running and cycling and doing sit-ups and... Partners no more, I take it. I had a notion something didn't sit right with my mentor's betrayal. You murdered him, I take it, to get to me. 
Not just that. He had it coming. Interesting. I don't know what they thought. It was my impression that you were cured of such sentiment. The good doctor built his serum specifically to target the seats of your emotions. Has Miss Burnwood's sense of justice rubbed off on you? I wonder. Just keep walking. what it's worth. Janus always found Ortmeier's project distasteful, not to mention inefficient. But alas, sometimes you have to play the hand you're dealt. Oh, I know. Enough talking. You'll do plenty of that later. We're here. Get on the boat. Mr. Edwards, still think this is maintenance. Oh, Miss Burnwood, what have you done? Changing horses midstream? Truly unprofessional. You know what we want. Where is the carrot? No carrot. You're useless to the partners. Compromised. Even if we let you live, you can never return. Why die protecting them? When I can drag them down with me. It's a bad hand, but it's all you've got. Three families. That's all it took. The Ingrams, the Carlyles, the Stuyvesants. Three dynasties, secretly pooling their resources over generations, creating a singularity so dense that nothing escapes its gravity. Never heard of them. Well, they've heard of you. In fact, you just became the top of their agenda. Go. We can't give them time to retaliate. Don't take your eyes off him. Be careful. Well, here we are again. I must admit I am disappointed, Miss Burnwood. I had such big plans for you. Save it. I know the truth now. You're outplayed. You have nothing left to bargain with. <laughs> you are so certain. So sure of the people closest to you. He never fails, does he? He never misses his mark. You found a window into his past. And yet, something else remains hidden. A simple truth you learned long ago. Diana! Coming! No one. Miss Burnwood is untouchable.
families. That's all it took. The Ingrams, the Carlisles, the Stuyvesants. Tell us everything about them. The ivory towers are about to fall. And when we're done... Let's cross that bridge when we get to it. For now, the partners are all that matter. There's an issue. Of course there is. Olivia's tracked the names mentioned by the Constant, and they're dead ends. How dead? Obituaries for all three have appeared online. Accidental death, heart failure, lung cancer. They're covering their tracks. Faster than I thought. A contingency plan of sorts. The Constant wasn't aware of it. Well, it seems they didn't tell him everything after all. Something this big will leave traces behind. The Constant says to follow the money. Milton Fitzpatrick. The investment bank. It's a key Providence asset. Which you worked for. The director of the New York branch is a Providence operative. It's our best bet as a way in. I'll tell the pilot to turn the plane around. Right, gentlemen. Here's what we've come up with. The partners are transitioning between identities. But everything is so recent, the Milton Fitzpatrick bank records will still be intact. We've confirmed that the partners have active accounts there. However, the bank's records are remotely updated on a frequent basis. We may only have hours before any leads that could get us the new identities of the partners are gone forever. The data we need can be obtained in two ways. The bank's data core can be accessed through the basement vault, but getting inside the vault could be challenging. Alternatively, bank director Athena Savalas, head of security Mateo Perez, and head of accounts Fabian Nan each carry a partial backup drive with data. We'll need all three drives to get the full data. Now, we cannot risk the partners discovering the data breach. Eliminating the bank's director, Athena Savalas, would sever the last remaining Providence tie to the bank and keep our activities hidden. Okay, one more time. We break into the vault, extract the hard drive rack, and eliminate the director on the way out. We. You. Good luck, 47. Welcome to New York, 47. The Milton Fitzpatrick Bank is open for business, but it seems there's some sort of investigation underway. Expect increased security. Your target, Director Athena Savalas, can be found in her top floor office, overlooking the iconic Teller Hall. Head of security, Mateo Perez, is roaming between the vault area and the Teller Hall, talking to employees. And head of accounts, Fabian Mann, can be found on the investment banker floor and the top floor of the bank, driving the internal investigation. Remember, we need to secure the data from the bank's reinforced vault, or, alternatively, acquire three hard drives carried by the director and her two lieutenants, Mann and Perez. Good luck, 47. Sorry, sir. No one's turned it in. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll just come back a little later. pull it off is it is there a big hole leading into the vault you know anything uh, i don't know Let's shut off access to the vault pause the box
Come in. I thought this would take place upstairs. Hey, good to see you. Listen, sir, there's no drama. I just need to check your pockets if you want to pass. Just relax. You'll be on your way in a sec. Good. You're clean this and good to go. This is the Vault 47. I'm really sorry. The data core should be behind that large steel now. door. The head of security suspects there may have been some tampering going on here. I have my things in there. Well, we'll be done before closing. Vault looks even more fortified than we feared. If I'm not mistaken, only high tier security is allowed in here. Access seems to be restricted to the use of a keycard of some sort. Hang on, there's a similar security hub on the second floor. You might be able to acquire what you need there. thing. So he's a Freemason and a member of a local. Great work, 47. You now have access to the vault.
Good work, 47. That's the evidence secured for now. Careful not to lose it. If anyone sees you with that rack, my guess is you'll draw a lot of unwanted attention to yourself. Always welcome to call back. Okay. Bye. You too. Have a nice day. Sir, I will have to check you if you want to pass, okay? Just relax. You'll be on your way in a sec. Thank you. Well, at least it's not as bad as that time in Queens. Remember that? Oh. 6,000 semi-incinerated files we had to tape together? Don't remind me. Yeah. I'm just saying. This isn't so terrible after all. There are always worse cases out there. I get my most frustrated. Is that... is that what I think it is? Yes. Just make sure the information will be put to good use. Oh, you can bank on that. Who are you? What's your role in this? I'm not important. Good luck. It sounds like Miss Red has quite a scoop on her hands. My guess is this will cause a major market upset, which is sure to bring the director out from her fortified office. Go check. You bet. Come on, give me a break. Each time I turn a chance.
Oh, I don't need this. Not today. Huh? Uh. Oh! Oh, Christ! That's the first backup data disk secured. Two more to locate. Director Savalas eliminated. Good work, 47. Olivia has found something interesting. I'll tell you on the way. Where are we going? To paradise, 47. So, this is paradise. If you can afford. Gentlemen, glad to hear you made it out of New York. Where are we? Olivia decrypted the Data 47 recovered from the bank. We isolated three transactions from Providence partner accounts. All made out to Haven, a small corporation operating out of the Maldives. And what does Haven do? To the public, they specialize in reputation management for the rich and famous. The real money, however, comes from the covert reconstruction of identities for wealthy criminals. They make people disappear. The partners are using Haven to acquire new identities. Yes. Olivia's been attempting to hack the Haven servers, but the owners of Haven are manually resetting the access keys every 10 hours. That unfortunately, makes them targets. Haven Island is a true tropical paradise. Owned by the company's founder, Tyson Williams, the island is used by Haven as a combined headquarters and client entertainment center. Current and potential clients are ferried to the island and treated to the very best the Maldives have to offer. Michelin star chefs, a full massage spa, private huts, exercise facilities, and all the comforts of a luxury island resort are made available to them. 47, we'll be sending you in as a potential new client. We've put together a convincing cover story. You're Mr. Reaper, a thief for hire looking to disappear for a while. Your mission on the island is simple. You need to eliminate the three owners of Haven. Tyson Williams, founder and rumored tyrannical CEO of Haven. Ludmilla Vitrova, a former confidence artist hired by Williams to serve as a client recruiter and handler. And Stephen Bradley, technical wizard and the brains behind Haven's proprietary software platform. With the owners gone, Olivia will be able to penetrate the Haven servers long enough for her to secure the new partner identities. I've uploaded all the information we have on the island and the three targets. Best of luck, gentlemen. Hmm. I don't rely on luck. Well, a little wouldn't hurt.
Welcome to the Maldives, 47. The Haven Island staff is ready to receive you under your assumed identity as Tobias Reaper, a professional thief looking to retire from a life of crime. Ludmilla Vitrova can be found in the public sections of the island, primarily tending to client needs. Stephen Bradley alternates between looking after a strict training regimen and working on a small private island. While Tyson Williams roams his large villa estate at the back of the island. This is it, 47. Eliminating the three owners of Haven should buy Miss Hall the time needed to do a full penetration and retreat of the Pogger. Best of luck, 47. Island. Oh, please collect your key to the private hut in the welcome center. Okay, enjoy your stay. without getting accused of holding all kinds of secret motivations. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just, you know, Mr. Williams told me that to use water.
getting away. Two targets remaining. Good work, 47. Ludmilla Vitrova has been permanently retired. Copy? No sign of any pup. Moving on. Man. Hey, what's going on? No, no joke. Okay, enlighten me here. Do you have a description? Never really got a good look at the pup. Mr. Reaper, welcome to Haven. Here is the key for your personal hut. Um, it's the one behind you on the right. Oh, and Miss... Mr. Reaper, I hope you enjoy your stay here. Oh, if there's anything, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm here. Okay, everything's good. What was that? Hello? Excuse me. Think you lost something? Listen here, pal. I'm sorry, but you're not getting through. What is it about? Huh. Stop freaking. You're not okay. allowed to be in here. Good. Now don't show yourself around here anymore. Huh. One more target to go. So, that's Stephen Bradley taken care of. Well done.
Yeah, keep it real. That's all we need to do from here. Miss Hall should be able to extract the information needed from the Haven servers. Good work. I should get out of here, shouldn't I?
How was your time in paradise? Productive. Right. We should hear from the others soon. We're in. Whatever your robot did back on the island, it worked. Let's see. Yeah, here we are. You found them? Yeah, right here. But... No, wait a minute. Something's off. See here? All those controlling shares, those are basically the backbone of the Providence Empire, but... But they're not going to the new partner identities. What do you mean? I mean, they're allocated to someone else. Everything is. The partners are, are left with no real control. Who is Arthur Edwards? Message from Olivia. Everything's going to plan. We know where the partners are. We have our targets. You're almost there, old friend. Feels... good, doesn't it? We should head out before the storm hits. Time to fulfill our purpose, 47. To take them all down. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets. To use and throw away. To do the unthinkable. The unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the constant, Providence's chief controller and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. 
make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. 47. Come in. 47, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. I'm in position. 47, the inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. On behalf of His Royal Highness Omar al-Ghazali, I bid you welcome to the Senate.
47. I would like to address the Providence partners directly. I want them to know why this is happening. And I have an idea, but it requires you finding a map terminal. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet.
We got them, 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the Constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And... Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look. You don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did... She'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough. She came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlyle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlyle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlyle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlisle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlisle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlisle keeps a case file on the Constant. Information that may be helpful in his recapture. So don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. Thornbridge Manor. The Carlisle family's home for countless generations. 
the Revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now, the target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. They call all of you in today. I've never seen so many gardeners here at the same time. I just need to check. That's a bit excessive, I think, considering the fact that I spotted no less than two routes to get inside the house unseen. We know what we're doing, sir. Don't worry about that.
Okay. Dispatch, I just heard something fishy. Hello? I know you're here somewhere. in Madame Carlyle's office. I bet that's where she keeps the file on Arthur Edwards. Peculiar icons above the safe. Mm. I wonder if they might be some sort of a code. Maybe have a look around the office, 47. Good work, 47. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. Mission complete. Well done, 47.
47. They're everywhere. Go, get out! It's the Constantine. Shit! Take us all on? Don't. Yeah! Tell the Constant to start running! You think you've won? 47 is out there. And 47 never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other. And I meant it. I look forward to your call. Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight. We're all that's left now. been compromised. Abort and walk away now. Who? Oh. ICA. They tracked me. 
Don't know how. It's what they do. How many? One prime asset and a whole pack of up-and-comers. They've infiltrated the club searching for us. Christ, I think I killed one of them. Get out now before they spot you. No. They found us once. They'll find us again. <sighs> Keep your head down. I'll take care of this. Well, well, well. Who do we have? Don't move up. <laughs> this is like looking for a needle in a haystack. Just keep trying, Agent Montgomery. Our client considers Agent 47 and Olivia Hall as a serious threat. You can't underestimate them. I never do, Joe. We'll find them. We're all in position. Good. Report back to me if there's anything. Don't worry. Sorry, sir. Got orders. Can't let you through. Sorry for the inconvenience. Hey, Tim's calling in. Only got visual on stoned idiots. No sign of target. Be careful, or you may not spot him until it's too late. Agent Thames. Hmm.
This is Agent Swan reporting in. We've got no sign of 47 yet, but I'll let you know if something catches my eye. Just remember your briefing and stay on task. Agent Swan. Excuse me? Nice. Whoa. Hmm. What? Come on. Yeah, there's been some kind of accident. I don't know. Doesn't look Agent good. Swan, are you still there? We've lost a third. We're paying for our mistakes with blood. Stop wasting time and end this. Yes, yeah, Central. What do you want me to do? What's going on here? Um, shut these down the party. Over and I should probably just leave. Hey. Did you call again? Yeah, it's fine. I'm right there. Just waiting to make a little transaction of my own. Then I'll drop it off. Yeah, I know. It's on the receipt, right? Ring the doorbell at the drop-off. Wouldn't have killed the guy to meet me outside. What the hell do I care? Something doesn't feel right about this. He's good, but he's not psychic. He's been listening in. God damn it. Stay here. Have a cigarette. checking in. I haven't seen 47 yet, but I'm not taking it for granted that he isn't here. Just remember your briefing and stay on task. Agent Rhodes. Oh, click it, flip it, press it. You're on. report that makes four if any of you make it out of this debacle you'll be the laughing stocks of the ICA man yeah it was nothing great Agent Tremaine reporting in. All quiet on the Western Front. Stop talking. Focus on finding him. Agent Tremaine.
Is that really it? Huh? How the hell did he... We're done. Get out. I'm not losing any more of you. Understood, Joe. Clear. You killed all of them? They got my message. Where are you? Diner. Up the main road. On my way. You're hurt. You should see the other guy. Never killed nobody before. What you did back there. You really are all Grace said you'd be. 47. He didn't suffer, did he? He made it count. Bruised, but not broken. I'm glad. It's time we start afresh, you and me. Get to the point. You and your friends pulled off the impossible. You stormed the heavens, took down the untouchables, and yet, here we are. Status quo. It just goes to show, you can't fight power, Miss Burnwood. Power never dies, it only changes hands. The best you can do is claim it. I never cared about power. Power is a tool, Miss Burnwood. It's the thing that gets you to the thing. As the next constant, you can be the agent of change. Transform the system from the inside, or be transformed by it. No risk, no reward. I'll need to think about it. No, you won't. The real question is, what will you bring to the table?
Look closer. I'm telling you, the file is trash. The Constant doesn't so much burn his bridges as blow them up. Arthur Edwards, whoever he was, don't exist anymore. His personal data somehow deletes itself from any system that records him. Way beyond advanced. The partners spared no expense to make sure their controller would be untraceable. How untraceable? Look, I did what you asked, but Gray's gone and I'm no Diana. I'm not who you need right now. You gotta be kidding me. I see, eh? I used every encryption known to man. Who are these guys? The best. It's only a matter of time before they get lucky. We need to take them down. <sighs> you and which army? I know where the agency stores its files, mission reports, client data. If we leak it to the public. You want to whistleblow the ICA? It's the path of least resistance. Turns out, you are who I need right now, Olivia. I do this, and I'm out. So, what are we breaking into? Data facility in Chongqing, China. Run by a man called Hush. Of course. The ICA site in Chongqing houses the agency's data storage and analyst division. Needless to say, security is daunting. The state-of-the-art server vault is biometrically wired to the facility's two overseers. Imogen Royce, behavioral analysis pioneer, and Hush, a data security guru with a taste for fringe transhuman experimentation. Tell me about Hush. A former cyber terrorist for the Ministry of State Security in Kadanyang, who fled his country after one of the Po regime's periodic purges. He made a career doing cybersecurity for dark web deplorables. Human traffickers, organ harvesters, scum like him, with no code or conscience. ICA sure can pick him. No offense. Can you disable security? A dual authentication protocol ensures that any handling of data must be directly authorized by Hush and Royce. The proverbial human factor device to make the system impenetrable. Luckily, I found a loophole. If both overseers should unexpectedly die within a short space of time, the system reverts to a temporary fail-safe protocol, which I can bypass. Take them off the board, and you'll have free access to the data core. And I'll handle the rest. And you're sure it'll work? Look, I know, Hush. If I'm wrong, we won't live long enough to regret it. All right. I will leave you to prepare. Chongqing, China. This city is Big Brother's wet dream with more than 2.5 million cameras covering 15 million people. Privacy is a four-letter word in this place. It's pretty ironic that a cloak and dagger organization like the ICA keeps its most valuable secrets here. You'll find Hush conducting his fringe experiments in an abandoned apartment building. While Imogen Royce, the archivist, runs the day-to-day -day business of the ICA data facility. I just hope you know what you're doing, 47. out here with a bad influence spinster like me. We're going to be interesting to sit here. Who 
this point in the morning, and I swear I see at least four jets turning up for work. Hey, get up there. Find it. Quite the outfit. So, I like how it. was Sweden? You have to tell me. Try very illegal. The chip in there, they plugged directly into Royce's project. Just keep looking. Uh -huh. Command, something ain't right down here. Stand by while I investigate. Hey! Who's that? That's a me. <laughs> that thing looks like a crashed drone. I bet it's connected to the facility. Why don't you scan it, and I'll see what I can find out. This thing is hooked up to Royce. Pings her if it's damaged. I can use the transfer from this one, but if you take down a couple more, I might be able to piggyback the message and gain access to Royce's phone. This place is an excellent vantage point to take down some drones. I'm in. I just need to lock down the random sequence. Give me a second. I specifically said I wasn't- Damn! Nilly had it. Got a lock. We can now listen in on Royce's phone calls. Royce here. Another drone just went down. It must be Hush doing this. Again? You scared him pretty bad last time. If you don't find out who's doing this and stop it, I'm coming up there myself. Nice shot. Keep it up and maybe Royce will make an appearance. manned and two additional drones launched near Hush's penthouse. If they go down too, we know it's him. And then there's no more hiding. I swear he'll have to answer for this face to face. We may get more than we bargain for if you take care of those drones near Hush. Clear. Found the crashed drone, though. I'll we'll grab the chip now. We can get the rest later. I'm coming. 
coming down now. Not bad. I'll keep the signal up a little while longer. Hush, you fucking idiot! How dare you take down my drones! What? I did no such thing. You sent your ridiculous drones to spy on me. We have a truce, and I'm not letting your petty insecurities allow you to stake me out. Lotus Passage, now! And I don't give a shit about your condition. <sighs> for fuck's sake, Royce. I don't have time to cater for your stupidity. You don't have a choice. How do you think Main Branch would feel about you isolating yourself for weeks? Now, hush. The Lotus Passage. Well done. You've got two pissed off targets on their way to meet in the Lotus Passage. Sounds like a lethal cocktail. Especially with you in the mix. You hush. This is ridiculous, Royce. I didn't touch your drones. You liar! You lie about everything. You're deliberately trying to mess with me. Get me off balance to screw up my presentation. No, you're the one who screwed up, Royce. We had a truce. You promised you wouldn't spy on me again. I said I didn't mess. Both targets in one go. You are good. My turn. Just give me a second, and I'm in. You can now access the core, 47. Dying to know what the inside of that room's like. You can tell everything about a person by how they keep their room, as far as I'm concerned.
command. There's some kind of commotion down here. Have a look around. Magazines under the bed, a stash of hard candies. Either he's a robot or he's not calling the house. Something. Eighteen? Oh, yes. Got it. Zero one one eight. Welcome. Please follow the gray line to security check. Thank you. Sealing the room and dimming the windows 47. No need to worry about intruders. Every hit the ICA ever sanctioned. Enough to shut them down for good. But first you need to locate all files referencing Diana and yourself. that you... I don't know. I get why you want to protect her. So, wipe all the data referring to the two of you from their system before we publish the rest. Okay, good. I've 
set up a link to an information non-profit site. When you press that button, it's up there and the whole world will know. There's no undo 47. This will shut the ICA down for good. You really okay with this? It's who you've been for so long. I'll just return things to normal. No need to alert them we were here prematurely. Safety solution detected. Shit! I missed that. We're blown 47. I can hold the doors for a little while. Use the fence to get out. Go! Now! All personnel. Breach protocol initiated. This is bad. That means they'll shoot on sight. I'm gonna create some havoc, 47. Make the core meltdown. Maybe we'll divert their attention a bit. Warning. Core overheating. Warning. Core shut down. Temperature critical. Warning. Fire detected. Man, nothing in my position. Over. All personnel. Breach protocol initiated. No sign of any pup. There's no way you're getting through that door 47. It only opens for people with an authentic security clearance. The signal is encrypted. Without a dongle, we can't hack it. was tense, 47.
turn now to the data leak bombshell causing shockwaves across the world. The so-called ICA files. The disclosure of a... You win. So... What happens now? The ball's in your court, Miss Burnwood. I do have other candidates, you know. Most of whom have never tied me to a chair. You've seen the news. That was 47 acting on his own. He is untethered, he is unstoppable, and he cannot be bargained with. He will find you, Mr. Edwards, and I'm the only chance you've got. I'm listening. 47 has one weakness. Me. something. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Harold. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates and Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constance's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No, you won't. Because you're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next Constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Here, I got you an invitation, just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. Oh my gosh, be careful. The ground's super loose here. If we fall, we're going to seem like such idiots. We won't fall. We just need to get the boots and be okay. Ready, Pam? Three, two, one. And for more than two decades, she's been living alone here for what, six years. Ever since the scandal. Bienvenidos to Viñeda Yates, señor. May I see your invitation, please? Gracias, señor. Enjoy the party.
were my playground, and returning here to pick up the mantle of my ancestors feels just incredibly profound. Our goal here at Vidyeta Yates is simple. From our state-of-the-art winemaking facility to our carefully nurtured grape stock, hand-picked with loving care by local experts, we have only one purpose, to make the best wines in Argentina and beyond. I was an attorney. For four decades, I served the law. Now, I serve something far grander. I serve the land, and the land of Mendoza longs to make wine. I grew up here. Not just a pub life, we're talking deep, deep. The whole place looked like a hollow This isn't going away, my love. It falls on me as constant to protect Providence against all threats, even his bad decisions. So let's treat this like a court. The same Burnwood is a material witness to the prosecution, and you need to get rid of him. Walk me through your strategy. Best course of action is blackmail. I've called in one of the firm's junior partners to dig up some dirt. If Burnwood has a weakness, he's fine. If not, then Corvo gets to earn his prestige. Burnwood suffers the next day. Convincing, but not too convincing. And the blame falls on her rogue assassin. Burnwood and her cohort. I'm sure they would agree to back your story with Edward, if properly not. Uh, say, by a crackerjack trial lawyer with a knack for stirring monologue. This would even strengthen their fealty to your concept. Nothing demands loyalty than culpability. Yes, I like it. I like it profoundly. I will get right to work on my closing statement. Thank you, my love. I truly would be lost without you. And so, forget you.
Mr. Edwards, Don Yates, I have received your letter. I merely called to express my regrets that you were not able to make it to the party. Rest assured that I will extend our new Herald the warmest of welcomes. A most shrewd and sagacious move on your part, bringing her into the fold. I have the utmost confidence that Miss Burnwell will prove a valuable addition to the group. Feel free to call me at your leisure. Have a good day. <coughs> wow. He can't be serious. He just can't. It's unseemly. How many times will you reread that thing before you believe your own eyes, darling? Or are you trying to scare the letters away? Just listen to this. I am making a new addition to the Herald team. Diana Burnwood, former ICA. Please consider her my representative. At your celebration, you truly are the effort. Yes, we've been over this dawn. Can you believe it? This is the woman who waged bloody war on Providence. She is involved in the deaths of countless heralds and operatives, including Ken, our friend Valentina. Has Edwards lost his faculties? This woman will surely be our downfall. This woman cleared his path to the top. Is it any wonder that he wants to keep her close? The partners. You don't think he... Immaterial, darling. Why don't we take a stroll? The air will do you good. Yes. I suppose you're right. We'll figure this out, Don. You and I. We always do. She's not that excited about a church wedding. I think she only agreed to it. Money will stop by security. Fine by me. Tell me you didn't pop it. Tell me you didn't forget the asado torch. Okay. I didn't forget the asado torch, Miguel. But you did, though. Didn't you, Pablo? 
Hello, sir. Why do you have to be such a baby? It's the yay state of women. What are we supposed to be? Either you play because the Yota brothers or got the sports for the damn about of It's just a stupid talk. I'm sure someone's gonna like me again. This is what they do. Look, I'm not gonna explain it. Just find another torch. Don't care how. Or with a laughing stalk. Yeah, yeah, sure, okay. My mother prefers him, I would never understand. Yeah, I'm sick. No other law firm has been So, people all over the world know that Morgan Yates and Cohen are a bunch of soulless assholes. Imagínate una barrera invisible entre tú y yo que se extiende de tus manos, de tus brazos hacia mí. Tratemos eso y estemos fuera de esa zona. Es mi espacio personal. ¿Entiendes? They know they're entering a category five shit hurricane, and they can either hey settle there, or get neck deep in that chunky brown water. And here I was so looking forward to the buffet. Yeah, the Chelsea Whitmore trial gave us some notoriety. Ken the Brick Morgan's affluenza defense is the stuff of legends. <laughs> but really, it was the documentary about Van Orton tobacco that made us a household name. <laughs> Van Orton sponsored a well drilling project in sub Saharan Africa only to spike the groundwater with nicotine to boost their customer base. And my friend and mentor, Don Cajonis Gates, got them off on a technicality. Oh, it was beautiful. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. If you'll excuse me. <laughs> Something I said? Uh -huh. What are we doing here, Jack? Monumental records are long-time clients. No, I thought we were Diana Burnworth. Long time no see. Forgive me, I can't quite place you, Mr... Reaper. Tobias Reaper. We used to work for the same company. They... went under. Ah, yes. A shame what happened. But nothing lasts forever, I suppose. Oh, but where are my manners? This is my colleague, Tamara Vidal. Miss Vidal? What brings you to Argentina, Reaper? Are you one of Don Yates' clients? Client? No. I'm more of a service provider. Right. Well, it was lovely to see you again, Tobias. Now, if you'll excuse us, Tamara and I need to... How many have been asking Of course. See you around. Tobias, I'm sure you have somewhere to be. Looking good today, sir. I take it Edwards told you to chaperone me. Any idea why? You know why. Justice earned. Until Edwards is satisfied you're not sailing under a false flag, I will be his Hello, handsome. Ears. I meant why you? I suppose I'm more perceptive than most. You're also very loyal. My guess is Edwards' decision to make me a herald is not too popular with the other heralds. We were at war about five minutes ago. Some people are funny like that. But not you. I admire the craft, the audacity. Everyone said Providence was untouchable and along you came. The way I see it, you did us a service. That's cold. I like you more already. Touché. I could be a wife, right? I mean, investing in a setup like this, running it, bringing in a famous eccentric to handle the details, that could be me. Yeah, sure you could. Hello again, Whatever Miss Burnwood. Like. Miss Vidal. He is a polite one, isn't he? Oh, Mr. Reaper is in many ways a man out of time. And what is it you do? Masombre. Don't tell me. Banker. Corporate liquidator. Ah, so you're the guy nobody likes. They so rarely get a chance to know me. Well, we really should be getting on. Do you dance? Something. I like to lose myself in a crowd. Good. Perhaps we'll do a bit of that later. Dancing. The night is young, Miss Vidal. Wow, you'd be a great winemaker. What a great idea. Thanks, Eddie. The class always had a strong following.
Why are you here, Burnwood? Didn't you know? I have tango fever. Thing is, nobody held a gun to your head. Why did you take his offer? It was time for a change. I'll say. Learning the truth about your partner. Harsh. But you see, I've read your ICA profile. All those years, you never took a contract for money or glory. Only to serve your personal brand of vigilante justice. Targeting those who rise above the law, except for yourself, of course. But hey, everyone's a hypocrite. Still, makes you wonder. I was wasting my potential. I did garbage duty for 30 years, and where did it get me? You've certainly kept the world's coroners on their toes. Edwards is right. Power never dies. It only changes hands. And his hands? Well, I figure the world could do a lot worse. You admire him. I thought resisting power was noble. But revolution is a young person's game. It's easy to tear down. Much harder to build. I figure I can be Edward's conscience. God knows I have the practice. Hmm. Did I pass your test? It was hardly the Pledge of Allegiance, but... It's the best I could expect from a free-thinking radical. Miss Burnwood, Miss Fidel, we meet again. We do indeed. You know, I just tried defending you on social media, but your profile appears to be blocked for requests. In my line of work, privacy is power. Well, you certainly do take bland, generic tourist photos like nobody's business. Why, you've got every cliched attraction known to man, from the Sphinx to the Easter Island statues, but never with you in them. Camera shy, Reaper? I generally try to keep out of photos myself. Right. Would you mind taking a walk, Reaper? I'd like to discuss something on the QT. Tamara, I think you have the wrong idea. No, please. Lead the way. Tobias, this is really right not the best time to catch I up. I know a spot away from prying eyes. So, corporate liquidator. That must be exciting. Nothing quite like it. I bet. Weeding out the old and slow so that something new and fast may thrive. Admirable. Say, do you have a business card? Or are those out of style? I don't advertise. I rely strictly on word of mouth. I see. Only as good as your latest Hi. job, huh? Uh, whatever. Mm. Must be stressful. It keeps me on my toes. I bet. What was your biggest job? The biggest fish you've ever liquidated? The next one, Miss Vidal. Always the next one. Hmm. Won't be long now. As you said, do you take me for an idiot? Your also clever euphemisms may fool the plebs, but not me. Tobias Reaper does not exist. I was CIA. I know I have a sock puppet identity when I see one. Who am I then? I know you're Burnwood's assassin. What I don't know is why you're here or why she's covering for you, but it's off the phone. You're my golden ticket to become the constant. So, are you going to admit it? If I am who you say I am, do you really think this was your best course of action? It's fight against one. Yes. See your mistake. Oh. <laughs>
Nothing here. It's done. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards. You know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Eat the brand's neurotoxin. Transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. This is a kindness. Goodbye, Agent. Are you still here? Still clinging on to your self-image. Agent 47, the Apex Predator. Always hiding behind the headlines. Was perfection its own justification? Or a willful distraction? A wall built contract by contract to shield you from the uncomfortable truth. You're exactly the tool they bred you to be. <laughs> Quite a piece of work you are. How could you possibly function on your own? You never even had a name. Until I gave you one. That's him. Burnwood never ceases to surprise me. You really are a most singular individual. And to think, she wanted me to put you down. Lucky for you, I never throw away anything useful. Prepare the serum. 
Forgetting's not so bad. You've done it before. What's he doing? Is he still looking at us? I'm afraid so. Poor Sap just won't accept his days are done. Perhaps I should take him out to the woods and set him free. Oh, it's a classic. <laughs> he was a loyal tool. But everything goes the way of the horse and cart eventually. I couldn't agree more. Are you done? The toxins are playing into your fears. Don't let them. Come on. Got to get your head straight. She wants me dead. She has every right to after what we did. But that's not what is really going on. She chose power. In the end, she was just like them. No. She found a way to turn Edward's own cleverness against him. The rest is up to you. I don't know how. You do know. Diana! Coming! Once you dispose of Edward's, I will dismantle Providence from the top down. It will finally be over. All you have to do is embrace the past. name for it for when we go commercial I mean figure this thing is commercial application
this, I was doing extreme condition training for the Army base. supposed to be exactly Ukraine it all looks the same
shit around. I'll get back to you. Over. That was not worth the agitation. Wow. Okay, stay put. I'll take a look. Okay. Okay, just do your thing. Come on, give me a... there's any point calling for help. No. Seems I brought this on myself. Well played, Miss Burnwood. Do you really think she'll be able to resist all that power? This is not how people work. She rejects the power, not the responsibility. <laughs> A noble idea. But please join me in the real world. I trust you already know what this is. Why not simply take it? Embrace who you were always meant to be. No, never again. <sighs> well, I had to try. Go on then. 
do your thing. At least I die knowing who I am. What are you doing? No! No! This is what it means to lose everything. You're making a mistake. It's mine to make. Oh. <sighs> Forgive me. I seem to have... Uh... What were we talking about? Don't worry. We were done. International finance continues as Milton Fitzpatrick CEO Alexander Fannin joins the president of Hams and Oil, while the new founder Tim Clinton and a bunch of other people step down. It's been a long time, Agent 47. That's not who I am anymore. The pact is done. The past. Death. And yet, here you are. I choose this path because I can. There will always be people like them. So there will always be people like us. No one is untouchable. It's good to be back. 